the most high stakes, sweat inducing, pulse pounding video game competition of the year comes back to the internet. Mega 64 Olympic Board Games, Saturday, February 17th, live. Being able to. Oh uh, my God. Welcome to, welcome to the Mega 64 podcast. Welcome. We, tonight welcome. is a special event and, is. and monumental occasion because we have a special guest. People have been asking every day for for almost two, two solid decades. <laughs> Daily. <laughs> Daily. Yeah. Why has Nicole never been on the podcast? You'll let her be in a video. Why are you silencing her ability to speak on your open platform? Yeah. Tonight, that changes we have learned the error of our ways. No longer will we silence our friend Nicole from speaking to the American public. Nicole is here on the show, first time ever. First time tonight. ever, wow, Nicole. Tonight. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you. so exciting. So read the list of things we told you were acceptable topics. We have it out <laughs> there. No, we really don't have a good, I don't really know if there is a reason why you haven't been on the podcast before now. You've been in so many of our videos yeah. over the years. Uh, I know why. Why? Um, it's because you've never asked me to be on the that podcast. That can't, that's not, <laughs> come on. You know, I'm uh, sure yes. somewhere in there. No, because here's what happens. We'll be driving back from the filming something. I'm yes. in the backseat of the car and you go, Everyone always wonders why you're not on the podcast. They do. Yeah, he does say that. We have brought that up. And that's the end. That's the end. <laughs> well, we're always tired, so it's like, well, we just filmed something. <laughs> yeah. uh, you should do it sometime, my sister. They wonder. There yeah. is definitely a degree. I'm going to defend ourselves a, just a little bit. There's a degree of, uh, I will say, I don't want to bother Nicole. You know, yeah. like, like, oh, like you have yeah. been so Never, generous with yeah. your time. Yes. And anytime you're in a video, I do have a little bit uh, like, like Nicole is just out of the goodness of her heart in so many things that we've no. done. And I'm always like, ah, we made her do that. Uh, she was in, uh, you know, the Evangelion cockpit and doing all, you know, no. trapped in this thing and yelling and all that. And I'm like, let her rest, let her <laughs> no. rest. So that's why I never bring it up, but. I love it. Every time I'm always so excited. Well, oh. that's good to oh, hear. That's good. It yeah. is so nice. And honestly, we have called Nicole to be in videos since day one. I don't Since think you've ever beginning. turned, have you ever turned one down? I don't think I've down? ever said no, unless I was like sick or couldn't make it, but yeah, yeah, for like, I, yeah, there's never been a time where I was like, no, I'm not into it. Well, it not always sounds that, fun. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you, but a lot of times you show up with having no idea what we're filming. We yeah. don't tell you. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Wait, Nicole, we need you to film. Okay. When? <laughs> and that's it. We yeah. don't tell yeah. us. Like, hey, you're going to like, there's been a couple times we have you do some pretty weird things and it's like, sorry, yeah. like, I, we should have told you, should have yeah. warned you. Yeah. I was just going, <laughs> thinking about like, what was the weirdest and I, I think I go between the Madden one. And, I, and that's the one I feel bad about. Oh, yeah. The Madden one. That's the one that the cage. I, I think about this probably. Oh. I think about this often. Yeah. Oh. It was F Fumito Ueda's Madden 2018. Yeah. I forgot. And, yeah. and it was simulating a game where you always now, have, you have to rescue this ethereal girl that she's trapped in a cage. So in no, cage. I, was, I was dressed in a cheerleading, cheerleading a costume uniform. right oh, well that's oh, what we were that's parodying got it, got it. but yeah it was just yeah and so that was a moment where you looked at me and it was you were not stoked but yeah. you were still like you know always a good sport she's always been a good sport and we've had yeah. her do like public sk skits with yeah. us which i don't think we've had many people be on camera for public no. skits only like you yeah. even and, like garrett i don't even think i've done that no. with you no, I don't think but, I've been in but a public But Nicole skit. and I, yeah, have done that, the, the eco mm -hmm. video back in the day. Yeah, oh, so yeah. Mm -hmm. we, you have done everything, but there was a moment, and I think we had the, it was a dog crate mm -hmm. on the football mm -hmm. field, and you're in a cheerleader costume in the dog crate, which is weird, mm -hmm. admittedly, <laughs> yeah. but was that it? was the cage I was rescuing you from. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was weird, but... That was fine enough, I guess, but then the school got out. The school and got that's out. Oh. and that's when the school it took out. a turn and we were both like, we can't do this. I can't anymore. do this. Like there was high school boys <laughs> watching audience. me and for sure their thought is this is some weird porn. Like, yeah, there's for no sure. way they were thinking <laughs> anything else. So. Yeah, for sure. None of us, we were so in the zone on that. Like, yeah. this is just like what they would have done if this developer made a video game like this. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah. once the public saw it, it was like, yeah, okay. Th that was that was a shoot where I went home like, I think we fucked up today. <laughs> we like screwed over Nicole. <laughs> but actually, yeah. I think that's the second. I think my least favorite or the weirdest I ever felt was being left in the water in the Final Fantasy video. 
Oh, oh that was that's, Aerith. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I told you the Final forgot. Fantasy VII video. I, I forgot. Just, We've done so many videos together. <laughs> At this point, I'm I'm blanking out. I forgot that was a more yeah. recent oh, one. Oh, how could you guys? <laughs> well, no, but that we did warn her. Well, yeah, kinda. We, we, I mean, I, yeah. It was but, more that nobody <laughs> intervened. I couldn't believe that nobody said like, there's a... And, and yeah. that was the thing. And, you know what, Nicole? I have been in public situations like that too where... There was one we did a fallout video where Derek attacks me and it takes my clothes and I'm just laying <laughs> on the floor. And they basically said, lay there until we come get you. Yeah. And there was <laughs> yeah. one time where I'm like, they're fuck this has been like five minutes. It I was. can't do this anymore. <laughs> and it's in a, the laying there, it is miserable. It and is. that's what we did to you. It we're feels, like, yeah. hey, lay in the ocean and just be there for as long <laughs> yeah. as you can. And who you broke first? Did what? Did, did Nicole get up? From I don't even remember. I've like completely blacked that out of my mind because I was so <laughs> horrified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, to be man. laying there in like the weirdest costume and, and then like we, people I, just walking I by. I just laid Everyone a body looking. down and walked away from you. <laughs> yeah. And then I just, well, I walked away and I'm yeah. just, like, people are just like walking down past me like a conscious girl in the water, not caring. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I think well, you the costume was so weird. They're like, oh, it's so yeah, it's gotta be something. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what we have found is the 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 skits that you do in, in any kind of costume, people are like, well, yeah. something's up. I'm gonna let that be. Whereas yeah. if you do one in normal clothes, it's oh my god, call the police. Like something weird is <laughs> yeah. going yeah. on, you know. Yeah. So yeah, there's a little sense. bit of a difference. You you still had, I would say, you know, maybe I'm qualified to say you still had a little bit or better experience than I, or I should say you handled the experience better than I did because that same skit. I was a monster, and when I went into the water, it was like being waterboarded because oh, it, right. it flooded the mask. <laughs> that's right. And I was like, <laughs> and then you know, kids were going like, Haha, "What monster is this?" And I'm just going, "Shut up! <laughs> Don't <laughs> talk to me! <laughs> I'm mad." <laughs> Yeah, he so, yelled at some people in the behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> are you uh are you guys from Street Fighter? <laughs> Shut up! <Yeah. laughs> you got the wrong game. Shut up. You picked the wrong day to talk to me, kid. Uh, we yeah. have no time. <laughs> yeah. But theme song. Oh. Yeah, I got you off. When we put because this up on Tuesday, just cut right to this part. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, welcome everybody. So yeah, Nicole is here as we mentioned. Um, and uh, no, anyway, yeah, we were talking about videos we've done in the past. Um, we should actually take it back a step further. How did we meet Nicole? Yeah, the origins. Got, which, by the way, we said she's never been on a podcast, and someone was trying to call us out. Oh. in the chat, they said podcast, some podcast in 2011. I don't remember that. What? Did I've we, never. Yeah. I don't think like, so. I don't I think, think they're I think they made that up. They tried to were we at a, a con or something us. and you came by maybe the, something the like that. Con booth? Maybe yeah, something but like she's that. never been like on set with no, us. No, this is definitely a Berenstein, Berenstain, Bear <laughs> situation. They're not oh, yeah. yeah, they're not Mondalis, um so. they're saying yeah. podcast two forty seven. I don't even remember doing that many. So <laughs> this can't be keep right. that to yourself. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, so we met in the the reason why Nicole has such um an impactful legacy with us here is we have actually known each other like me, Derek and Sean here at mega 64. We all met in high school. We met in theater and you know, it's not like everyone else here was that we've met everybody else here along the way. Nicole is one of the people that She's we were in the high school crew, one mm -hmm. of the same people from the same class all yeah. the way going back to then. Um, so we've known you as long as, I mean, anybody here, What's the number? What's the actual number? Oh, okay. No. So, oh, well, no. you're Girls. two years younger than yeah. us. You are class of 04. 04. So, when did you start doing theater? 2001. In 2001? No, 2000. 2000. 2000. Yeah. So that would oh be my God. 24, mm. 24 years. Oh. Well, I'll say 23 just to give yeah. us a little bit. Oh, that's break. rough. So, we've known each Nicole other for long. 23 years. Wow. Mm -mm. That's crazy. We were talking about something and it was like, oh yeah, that was like 15 years ago. I was like, oh fuck. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> yeah, no, the 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 Ico Eco whatever video that we did, we were just saying, oh yeah, when, when did we get around to that? 18 years ago. Oh. Like it's just every every bit of it is painful. No. Yeah. Um, but uh yeah, so we yeah, we met in high school, um, did theater together. I'm trying to think some of the shows we were in together. Uh Midsummer. Midsummer. Midsummer, Midsummer I think was the only one I was very up. 
Yeah. Fairy yeah. to your bottom. Yeah. Fairy mm-hmm. to your bottom. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah. Other, well, that, was that the only show we were in together? I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I didn't do anything after that for a couple of years. So. Oh, okay. You didn't do any of the plays after after we left? I didn't. You did what? Pippin? We did Pippin. Yeah. We did Pippin. And then we, then we were gone. And then you were gone. Yeah. yeah. You did any, And then I did a bunch of stuff with Derek, I think. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, outside of you guys doing high school stuff. You and Derek did. No, no, no. no, you did. no, no, no Derek was, yeah, Derek was younger, was younger than us, yeah. too. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. So a lot of times, Rocco and I would go back up to the... Like, we'd hang out at my house. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then walk up when like we knew it was six period when they were in theater. Yeah. Because yeah. we were still like, hey, Derek, we're like, going to write more Make Sense for stuff. So yeah. like, we were like, go up and like write stuff yeah. like, in like... I don't theater know. class. We just like, walked yeah. into the high school yeah. class. Like it was that fine. Like we are like, weird. Right. Yeah, isn't that funny? Can you imagine doing that <laughs> no. now? Hey, we're no. here to write videos. Don't worry. Yeah, we know we don't go here. Don't worry. There was yeah. one okay. time don't fly now. where we did that. Maybe we're gonna film with the call that day. I don't remember, but we Derek was with us at this point, and we walked up to the theater and we were talking. I think it was to Nicole, and uh the teacher went, disappear, gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And we never came back. Yeah, that was the last oh, time. Yeah. Disappear, right. gentlemen. <laughs> I forgot about that till right now. Oh, wow, that's a weird. Yeah. Which, I mean, I do think that we were probably in the wrong for showing up sure. during his class and being distracting. Yeah. We had graduated. <laughs> I get it. I get uh, it. It's weird. But it was also the but that also was such a we were dramatic to way to do it. Yeah, just like full side. Like, hey, guys, you guys can't come. Yeah. Come after school. <laughs> um, now, Nicole, we don't want to. We don't want to give names. You know, name name the teacher or name or school, mm-hmm. or whatever. We'll mm-hmm. keep that. We'll keep that all vague. Mm-hmm. But I do want to say a little bit of redemption that years later we did a musical episode for Mega sixty four. Yeah, and he actually was very helpful. Um, you know, that wasn't the disappear was not the last note of, oh, of oh, our good. story. He was very helpful. He, he found that out and was like, "It'd be cool." You know, was at the time we were like, "Wouldn't it be cool if we?" went back to our old high school theater and filmed our musical episode there. Cause there's a, sh- there's a play in that episode that they, they, they have like a competition, like who has the best play or something like that. It makes no sense. But anyway, <laughs> but we were like, how cool would it be in the theater? We all met like, that would be really special. Like, okay. And he was like, yeah, that's awesome. I'll help put that in motion. He was very helpful with that. Mm-hmm. It, it was the school that called me later and was like we and the, oh my god the woman on the phone it oh. was like the wicked witch of the way i mean it was oh. seriously i found out about your little episode little <laughs> video you're filming <laughs> he doesn't have the authority to do anything like this you shall not enter our school grounds ever again i mean it was like okay we found out what you are doing and you are not permitted you are not and it was like got it it was the most like nasty phone call about oh, man. Like stay away and say what, and that was that was, that that was never crazy. interacted with that crazy. place again. So that was it. But the teacher, he he redeemed the disappearance. Well, I'm glad. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, that was you know. See, che- teachers, they want to you know stoke the flames of creativity, and it's that office staff. They just want to stifle it. Mm-hmm. There it is. They yeah, want to yeah. live the by admin. the rules and the regular the <laughs> admin. Yeah, the <laughs> hags and admin. Yeah. But it wasn't even it wasn't even like, I'm sorry, you, you, you actually can't shoot there. It was like she reveled in it. An evil entity entered yeah. the phone. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Well, I, re- I remember some of the like office staff when you'd have to like, you know, go up and call your mom if you weren't feeling oh, good. Yeah. yeah, they treated you like shit. Like you're, of course, lying, and, you little. Plebe. Well, they probably said that to you. you know? Look at you. What the fuck? <laughs> that the was hell? also that was also the same st- staff. I guess we'll, we're talking high school experiences now. That was also the same staff that there was a lunch period. I don't know if we knew you at this point, Nicole. Maybe maybe we had just met you, but I don't know. But I remember uh, doing some, I was like dancing during lunch break. We were just, we were playing, dancing. I think it was like jock jams. Remember we played yeah. that CD and like yeah, danced yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I was doing that during lunch. And then yeah, security guy like, I think he's, I think he called me dumbass. I think he's like, <laughs> dumbass, come with me. Oh, Come with me, dumbass, come this way. I was like, what? Stop doing that. And I think that guy was in the wrong and the principal knew it. Oh. You know what I mean? Like he brought me in the office and then explained it. And they were like, yeah, what was the problem? Like, what was the problem? But then they tried to cover for him. So I remember the vice principal came in. I, uh, you know, if you're doing that stuff, uh, it's, it's safety. Well, it's we do, we have to protect you, and we don't have the staff. What? I was dancing. What is this? But you're, it's a scene. It's a whole thing. Anyway, so you know, I hope you know you know what you did. It was just like what. 
Yeah. I was just having fun. Eric's in the chat and he is right. So those people, yeah. we, we're called narcs. Narcs. That, narcs. That, that's, that's right. That's right. Them, but did you call? Because that was just—I didn't know that yeah. any other name to call them. No, we called yeah. them narcs, like, which is like there was a video game, an arcade game called narcs. There was like the nice narc. There was the mean narc. Yeah, like everyone they're knew. called narcotics officers. I think. Oh, <laughs> that's what the game was about. But yeah, these guys were duties <laughs> in like elementary. They were school. Duties. duties. I forgot. Yeah. But then <laughs> when you got out of elementary school, it graduated, and you were like, "Oh, watch out for the narc." You know, <laughs> they used to hassle me about my wallet chain. Oh, that was of always, that was was always cool. a problem with yeah. people. I was too cool. Yeah. Sure. What are we going to do with that chain? Was, uh, apparently, it was a weapon. I was going to choke someone with it? Yeah. Stab someone with it. Or <laughs> stab shit. someone with my chain. I don't know. These I, fucking narcs. They were weird about wallet chains. And I remember too, like they got they got really strict on girls at our school with like oh, I remember, spaghetti strips. I remember going to junior high and it was, you know, whatever. They weren't strict about anything anybody wore, really. And then getting to high school and it was like, that girl's showing her elbow. And I think back and I'm just like, they've definitely they were weird they've, they've changed. Yeah, that yeah. was very weird. Because it was shoulders. Yeah, no, yeah. no spaghetti no strap. Yeah, no it's two fingers, showing. right? Yeah. Like two fe- oh, two yeah. finger Jones. You know what? <laughs> Fuck that. Oh. Like, and your hands, like if you put your hands down, your skirt has to be longer than Yeah, your and then if you like somebody your shirt, I don't uh-huh. know, so you put your arms up. They had a bunch Dude, of weird rules. Yeah, they um, thank God they don't do it anymore but because the, I would destroy them. The wallet <laughs> chain though was the big one. And then there was always, I feel like every day a guy would wear a, a shirt that had like a gun. <laughs> yeah. And no one me. would think about it. I wouldn't think about it either. I'd, I'd wear a shirt that had, you that know, fucking. You. Oh, I'm serious. I had yeah. anime shirts that had, uh, you know, my gunsmith cat and shirt has like, Three guns. It's all these babes holding guns, you know. And you're surprised why admins giving you a hard time. Yeah, and they're like, I mean, we know. Yeah, turn that inside <laughs> out. I just remember there was one kid at school that had. Uh, there's some. You might know this. There's a punk band that their logo had like a. It looked like an AK-47 in it or something. Did, and, was what? that Vandals? The Vandals. I think it, yeah, I think it was that. They had a shirt with that, and then yeah, the, I remember. I remember. I didn't even know this person. But I was witness to yeah. like principal or somebody going, "Hey, come here! You can't wear shirts like that. You can never wear this shirt again." Here, and they put a piece of like duct tape. <laughs> oh, I remember the duct tape. Go. And then they were like, "No, I like this shirt. I'm gonna keep wearing it." No, you can't. You can't show that. No, I like the tape. Thanks for the tape. I'm gonna wear it every day. That's and, funny. I mean, I'm talking the next year or two. <laughs> Taped up every day. It would bring it, and it would just be some stupid piece of tape <laughs> over the thing. Like, no, oh, I like it. I like the vandals. This kid's so cool. I'm cool. Defiant. You know. And I was like, that was kind of the most badass thing I saw. I think at school. You know, yeah. it was. I was like, damn, you handled it. you a year long bit. Yeah, that's just kept awesome. wearing the tape every day. But um, we had to turn ours inside out. It's yeah. like go turn it inside oh, out. Yeah. My friend always wore a Manson, Marilyn Manson shirt, and on the back of it, it said, I am the god of fuck. Oh. oh what, was, what was wrong with that? <laughs> That's yeah. what he said. He's like, well, I don't see the problem. He had a real deep voice. <laughs> I am, but I am. What am I not supposed to? Um, well, anyway, yeah. Uh, so that's where we met, Nicole. Yes. Oh, yeah, high school. Uh, high good old days. And it is mm-hmm. funny to think about, like, that and how we're still, like... Yeah. I don't really think... I mean, like, it's, I remember we're positioned, like, I talk to people... I went to high school with every day, yeah. which I don't feel like is the norm. Yeah. That's like a weird yeah. thing. Do you hang out with people? At, just us? Just you guys. Yeah, on occasion? Right, yeah cool. we had we had kind of a uh, hit a mo- weird moment when they did the, uh, I think it was, I mean, this is a while back at this point, but 10th anniversary, when they did the, the reunion? 10, 10 year reunion. Mm-hmm. For It was like, Sean was like, I don't want to go to that. And I'm like, no, you know, I, who can, I, it'll be fun. It'll be like, whatever we'll be laughing but it'll be fun to go and then and then i started looking on facebook at who was attending and it's like well the only people i want to talk to from high school i i actively see i think every day yeah. like two two people and sometimes nicole and i think yeah. that's good and it was all like like <laughs> kids limit. from the asb department that i did not want to be around <laughs> i'm pretty sure i missed my tenure reunion because we were filming a video <laughs> really oh really, <laughs> really? Oh, no what was the video with where the, we were at your grandma's house <laughs> My and, mind, yeah. and oh, we that got was splashed in the face with the magic? blood. Yeah, gauntlet. 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 Yeah, that was the infamous day of uh, oh. Garrett getting his truck stuck. Stuck in yeah. the and, yeah. and Grandma yeah. asking about it, and Garrett going, "Get her out of here!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I don't know if you were I witness to that. Okay. Yeah, that was... did you, you see the mask drop that day? Yeah. And, uh, revealed yeah. my true. Colors. I think Derek like very quickly escorted me out that day. Yeah. It was just like you don't want yeah, to see all, this. Yeah, I think he said, "I'm gonna get Nicole out of here. Do you guys deal with the truck?" Yeah. <laughs> that was a day. I think that stands out the most in my mind as a day I had sincere uh sorrow or regret or whatever regarding Nicole's involvement in the <laughs> video because I remember 
like, oh, does she know she's gonna get splashed with blood? Oh, she's got somewhere to be. Um, <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, really? And then didn't like, didn't something happen to your phone or something? I Am don't I crazy? know. Like, I did. Like I know. I didn't. I had no plans to go to my ten year reunion, okay, so good. that wasn't oh. a big deal. But oh, I just okay. remember driving home and being like, "Wow, all of my, the rest of my high school classes at a reunion, and I am just soaking in blood." blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. this is the choice okay, I've made. I, well, I want to make sure we didn't make you miss <laughs> no, your appointment. Not at all. Not at all. But I just remember that day. It like took too long, and we had to go, and then something well, happened like, your phone or something. There yeah. was just, there were like eight things where I was just like. We yeah. hose Nicole. No, the not at all. Was, it was two hours was, away. Yeah, and I think there was very minimal service. Maybe That's that was the was. issue. Yeah. Was there was no cell service, but mm -hmm. other there than that, is something fun. about you know we have so many people volunteer to be and stuff for us, and I always appreciate it. Yeah. But there is something when Nicole is with us, I have I feel with the more pressure of like this. Let's not fuck her day up. Yeah, please. yeah, like, yeah. Please, let's not fuck yeah. her whole no, day. Waste your it's time. never. We've never known her for way. so long. Let's just. She's done so much for us. So, yeah. Let's be nice. You you guys met doing theater uh, theater yeah. in mm -hmm. high school, and now you occasionally will you know come over here yes. and, and be in our stuff. Yeah. Do you do that? In do you flex your acting muscle? Anywhere else? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely we have not. I have yes. Really? I have no desire to like. I would feel zero percent comfortable. I think in any situation Working except with anyone else. within these walls. <laughs> wow. So well, that yeah. is because I would say legitimately, like in the chat says it too. Like you're genuinely good <laughs> oh, when yeah. you are on sure. camera. You. you are have, like yeah. great. Have and a lot so of fun. The fact that you know we, it's only for us. Very yeah. nice. Thank you. Yeah. Um. And I was, were you going to say something? I was just going to say, yeah, uh, the heavy lifting of Asuka in oh. our Ava in yeah. five minutes yeah. really I, wowed me beyond. That video was so crazy, I think, to me to come in and, and do that because, like, it was incredible. Everything that you did was so cool, including squeezing into that wetsuit. That wetsuit. That, um, oh, <laughs> I, I still apologize no, to everyone who had to get it into was, that wetsuit. It was so, it, that was so impressive. I had so much fun. And that's one of those videos that I'm, like, really proud proud to show people like yeah. sometimes i'm like yeah. i don't know if i want people to see me in some videos because i don't look great in terms of <laughs> what's usually going on dead yeah, body wise sure. but that video i'm always like i was gonna ask that, that like awesome. yeah, do you tell people in your life that you do this or? most of my friends know offhandedly oh, okay. but like i but like tonight like i told somebody i'm going to be on a podcast and they were like wait <laughs> what <laughs> you are not nearly qualified for this so um yeah oh well here you yeah, are yeah. very qualified it. very cool well Thank not you. only disqualified but uh the the evangelion um situation is my favorite because uh we kind of went into so we kind of revealed this on the commentary track by the way shameless plug but we put out a blu-ray around black friday uh time called Mega 64 in five minutes, and it's got all of our yeah. sweeted style videos, all the Evangelion in five minutes, uh, all the Dragon Ball in five minutes video, like all of those series, um, homemade made homemade style, uh, whatever videos yeah. uh, are all on there. We revealed on the commentary there, uh, Nicole was not originally the one who was playing Asuka. Mm -hmm. no. uh, keep it a little bit vague here, but someone else was set for that role. And then um, the pandemic happened and it was, you know, okay, when we're safe to do this, we'll, we'll try to pick up filming, we'll do it. And then that day came and that person uh, did not want to adhere to any safety regulations. <laughs> it was like, Ma I'm glad we're doing this because I'm not wearing a mask. I, I have, have not been wearing yeah, a mask. I will not wear a mask on set. Don't even ask me. <laughs> do not. I mean, it was like a list of things. Like we 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 hit up all our friends to like, hey, we talked about the Zeva thing months and months ago. Do you feel okay doing it? You know, we still had to be, it was the end of 2020. Yeah. We yeah. still had to be very careful. We took so many precautions. Oh, it's crazy. And so we, we checked it, we checked in with everyone, tested everyone. I mean, it couldn't have been a safer thing. And yeah, that that person was like, I won't be testing. I won't be standing. If you ask me to stand further away from someone, I'll, I'll stand closer. <laughs> I'll I mean, it was literally it was these defiant. things. And it was like, <laughs> hey, Nicole, um, are you busy like in a, like two days? Two days for that. like a long shoot yeah. with a lot of people it, around. I think that like, was the reason we didn't ask you like originally because it was like, 
This is like a month of shooting every weekend, multiple days. And that's a big character. And no, you know what though? I think in the end, right, there were some substitutions. Somebody stood in for me a few times. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Couple so, times. I think Maybe. with the wig so. or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, and I think you had just had a kid. I think that's I think two, that was yeah, part 2020, of that would two, two years later. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know. There was yeah. something where it was just I mean, like. COVID, start right? Again, before then though? It was, you know, we did talk about it much earlier. Yeah. So, I don't know. There was some I just, reason where we, we, yeah. Like I said, it's the same mentality. We don't want to bug you. No. <laughs> this is going to be a lot. Yeah. Let's not bother her. Yeah. No, and, never. Um, I'm so and glad. Yeah, it, it was like, it. why didn't we just do this? It was the like the second, like, you, it was the first take. It's like, it's like this oh, was God. clearly the choice. <laughs> the <laughs> chemistry you two have as Shinji and Asuka too is like, works with your history, knowing each other yeah. for 23 yeah. for 20 years. years. Yeah. 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 And yeah and it's so good. And, uh, oh, the chat saying Pokey Main dropped the ball on that one. Don't say her name in the chat. <laughs> oh, she, come on. I, I know she has her beliefs. No, that's We don't want to shame joke. her. That's a joke. But uh, no, but what's so what stands out the most to me is not only did you fill in last minute and complete, that's one of my favorite things you've done in any video. You're so good. But on top of that, then we get contacted by the woman who played Asuka so cool. in the original Evangelion dub, who was yeah. like, hey, that was awesome. It was just like, and Ooh, she thought you were so great. Cool. Yeah, she said that's that you so killed cool. it. Yeah, she's yeah. Like, oh, she killed it. It was just like, this okay. couldn't have worked out more amazing. And like, she's, awesome. she's not just like, I'm the old voice actress from the 97 show. Mm -hmm. It's like, she is a super fan of the character, wow. has a room in her house dedicated to yeah. art and figures and model kits of this yeah. character. Like, Knows that character inside and out. So yeah. like the that high level so cool. praise she gave you oh, is, is a lot. And she played your your mom in a brief voiceover yeah, yeah, yeah. role. And it was just- That is so cool. Oh, it all worked out. And I don't think she would have done that had you not been so good. Yeah. I think if you would have sucked, she would have been like, mm, don't want to be associated. Well, you, 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 know? you nailed the tsundere uh, attitude. Isn't that I, what you're going for? The tsundere the sun, attitude? I, the tsundere. Yes. I, uh, yes. Yeah. We're going to talk a lot more. I about was anime. also trying to get the Sanjare <laughs> attitude in Shinji. No. Can you Shinji, tell? You're, Sean, more I, you're more Yandere, Shinji. I uh, <laughs> I wasn't going for that. I fucked up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> reshoot. But uh, <laughs> reshoot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that that I on on my end, that's the that's my favorite thing yeah. you were in d d playing Oscar in that, 100%. and then um, dealing with us also trying to figure out like the anime famously ends with her getting strangled and it was like how what, how are we yeah. navigating that yeah. Sean's favorite scene you, you endured that whole d debate in um, the hos hospital scene the yeah, hospital the, yeah, the scene. Hospital oh. scene. And <laughs> again Nicole I swear <laughs> to God can we tell you how you know how stressed Sean was I, like. I, I am glad to hear how stressed you were I felt so bad not for myself for you because it was like a month through. I well, it, when we first read the script, there seen a more full first, of anxiety. I I I have seen this once and I didn't retain any. Talking right. about end, the movie End, end of Evangelion. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. And so the, I'm so fucked up. I scene. read the script and I go, "We're not fucking doing this. I'm not doing this. You cannot make me do this." And then when it's like, "Oh yeah, it's gonna be Nicole," I'm like, "I'm not doing this." <laughs> No. <laughs> so I, I, but when, when I put the script together for the, for our in five minutes, end of Evangelion in five minutes, out the gate, it started with us. It's a sneeze joke. He's Which breathing so really heavily. He's breathing really heavily. And then at you all my allergies. <laughs> it's you know, such a good it, So you should have felt safe immediately. Yeah. Uh, but what made it bad really was then getting to the day where we filmed it. And Nicole is in costume in a hospital gown sitting right over there on the hospital bed. It's a hospital set that is all set up. Yeah. And she goes, so so how does this movie <laughs> open? And oh, and I think, Sean, you were like, Rocky, you explained it to her, right? No. How does it? No one explained how the movie actually opens? No. Ah, and, I, and then I think that Did spiraled you again. Was like. Someone's gonna have to explain this, and that, that yeah. Did we show you like on a cell phone? Like this is the opening. Yeah, I, or I oh, think okay. maybe you maybe told me like, hey, do you want to go away from us and watch this real quick? Oh, like, really? Just <laughs> just so you know what you're in for. But that's not what's happening. Don't yeah, worry. Not, well, nothing like that. What is we're happening. subverting. Yeah. This yeah. is a. Yeah. And I think Sean did. A, I'm gonna say too, did a great job. Did sure. a great job. playing <laughs> the gag. The panting. All my allergies. I'm all breath. fucked up. Yeah. And my. My the, to me the key is you wipe it on your pants. That's the key. That's the key. Anyway, oh my god, you sneezed. You sneezed. So anyway, uh, but <laughs> yeah, so there was all there were all kinds of ups and downs mm -hmm. with that. But 
you, like I said, you did a great job. And that, Thank was, you. that yeah. was awesome. Thank yeah. you. It was a difficult uh, shoot. I mean, it really was. I mean, the, the fact that a it was during challenges. COVID and like yeah. getting people together was mm -hmm. scary. And I, yeah. again, like you had a young kid and it was like, yeah. I'd, what if someone here has it and we give it to yeah. Nicole and she gives it to her yeah. kid? Like, I don't want it. Oh, you know, so it was a whole yeah. stressful thing. I really appreciated that, like how cautious you guys were. I had yeah. my Mega 64 mask forever. So hell yeah! Oh hell yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! That was uh, that was uh, uh, that was a development too that year where it was like, should we do masks? Like we didn't know again how long anything was going to happen. Almost, so it's like, should we print masks? Like should we make yeah. them? Like, and we almost thought like, oh, is this cashing in on us? Yeah, that, the whole the, thing was weird on a disaster. So so it was like we really overthought it. But yeah, God. I've never heard a bad thing about our. They're masks. so that, nice. They were so no, comfortable. That was <laughs> the mask of the game. It, everything aligned perfectly. That was we got them, and I'm like, this is the best mask. Yeah. We made the best mask, yeah. and uh, and that was like one of our best selling things. People I, were really stoked with it. I will tell you that I was looking at just like doing the merch side of things, looking at it. Yeah, the mask is the best selling thing we've ever done. Really, I think so. Like item wise, like one this item many wise, units. I think that was the best thing I, because everyone needed a mask. Yeah. And, had a mask and it was true. it was our fans, but also then there were people who weren't our fans going, "Yo, where do I get the best mask? Mm -hmm. Like, just tell me where to get it." And, and our fans were just you would search Twitter and it'd be, "Yo, hey, I, you don't care about Mega sixty four, but like they have one. It doesn't have like their face on it or anything. It's it's just, it's it has black. a number yeah. sixty four, and this yeah. is the best quality mask." It is. And so, yeah, it was like people who like, yo, I, I, I remember seeing tweets that were like, yo, I, I, Mega Sixty Four hasn't been funny in twenty years, but <laughs> they're, man, I gotta get their mask. This is pretty damn good. It was like, oh, I'll, okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, I think Sean, you are, you are, you might be missing some DVD data across the years uh, you know that what? is not cataloged. That's probably true. So I just want to, in the interest of truth, no, you're right. DVD. In the interest of truth, I meant like not like physical media. I meant like. Garments. Garments or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garments. When it's compared to cool. shirts like or shirts things like that. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Hoodies but, or whatever. But I think a, a DVD or Blu-ray set would take the probably I'd honestly, if I had to guess, now we're going just this is just a tangent, but pro probably like our, our 10th anniversary Blu-ray set originally. Probably. That was around for a while. Yeah. I would guess, but I don't know off the top of my head. But that mask was outside of our work but you know what sucked? that was our, our biggest with the mask item. is like we wanted to make more yeah and they, they changed how they made it like, oh we do it this way now and they weren't nearly as good yeah and it's like, the last uh, run was different yeah the last yeah. run we, and we didn't they didn't tell us no that was we a, got it it's the like, old not the same. yeah well it was um a lot of selling them then. a lot of places hit a point where they thought like well this is all over so shut this down shut this down and then oh wait no it's not wait there's demand they want more masks? Okay. And so everyone was kind of picking up the pieces. And it wasn't the, yeah, it wasn't the same. Our, our manufacturer that we worked with was, tried to scrape something together. And it's, yeah, it wasn't the same. Yeah. So anyway, that's our mask That was our uh, mask conversation. Update. <laughs> yeah, mask update. Bit. Yeah. But, you know, with filming Evangelion, we did have, like, an eating area outside mm -hmm. on the oh, roof. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. Had everything is... And everyone had a mask on until it's time to film. Yeah. You took it off, and yeah. then like, and it was just really nice to be around people. <laughs> like, right, because that was oh safely. Like, yeah. I would, yeah. I've, I've been so lonely. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it had, if it was for you, but that yeah. for at least me, and I think probably a oh, bunch of us. It was the first time back with friends, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I, there were friends that came. You know, like Sarah, who was Masato, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, Mariel, and all yeah. that. These are people I didn't see that whole year, and so the the. We saved that shoot for the end, very end of the year. It was almost the holiday season, and it felt kind of like coming home. It was yeah. like oh, you're all okay, you're all. <laughs> and so that's why that first Evangelion video is kind. It was one of my favorite videos ever in all of Mega sixty four. It has I have I feel a special emotional connection to it because it really felt like you know it ends with like remember everyone clapping yeah. like congratulations, congratulations. Like it's funny for the video, but I really watch that and get a little choked up because. I remember feeling like we all lived, we lived. you know what <laughs> I mean? Like everyone's healthy and we made it and everyone's there and clapping at the end. And so I, I see that and I'm always like, oh, remember that? Oh, yeah. you know, it has a little bit extra weight to it. So, you know, filming that, I will say that that one scene in particular, I know it was a not it was like it was forced people do Staged. but but being around people clapping for you is you feel good <laughs> yeah, i remember you saying that when it was over you were like you know that uh that didn't suck it's like, you just feel like, oh, that, can like, we do one more take all right I'm yeah sure. okay <laughs> oh man I, maybe i needed this Derek's today like, no, i got it i got it yeah you're like just one more take I, I seen people clap for me just for a second yeah. I, you know i need this today man <laughs> so, so I got going. one more take 
Yeah. So yeah, that was really amazing. And then, um, you know, this might have been a spoiler at one point. Sorry if I'm spoiling this. You, you know what? You had time to see it, but you also had a great part in our our feature length project, Mega sixty four mm-hmm. version four point one. It was meant it was meant to be sort of a surprise that you showed mm-hmm. up in that um, as a recurring character from an older episode, yeah. and uh, and people you know loved you in that too. So that was really great. I think that was the one that you're maybe thinking of where we started it, and I you asked if I wanted to be in it, and I was like, oh. yes, heads up, I'm pregnant, right? <laughs> and yeah. you were like, it's right. fine, we'll be done. Well before. well before that. Yeah, and it just, that and I think, whole yeah. thing became a It, it, it went from the whole thing of, I, I, I'm i going to be, maybe you are pregnant. Yeah, but, or yeah. Like, or I'm, like, I'm going to be pregnant. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. To, when the, the thing finally came out, like, I don't know how old she was, but yeah. it was you had an, a few I think years you had, old. You had a leaving for college. <laughs> yeah. And, and the movie finally came out. But there are a lot but. of takes where it's like, you shot from up yeah, here because yeah, you are like pregnant, nine months very, pregnant, yeah. <laughs> like filming. I this. remember that. Yeah, we couldn't get the vest on you because no, you're get the yeah, vest so on. We yep. just, <laughs> we went without the vest. That's right. But, yeah, um, but that was awesome too. And that just, was fun. again, everyone loved you in that, and just was always happy to see you turn up in everything. I remember showing that for the first time. Again, we we you know we I think we talk about this on the commentary a little bit um, on our upcoming Blu-ray set, which I'll also plug in a That's minute. Right, but um uh. Yeah, we talked about on there when we initially showed it. We showed it live. It was live on Twitch, and and I remember the chat popped when you showed up. It was just everyone just like was tonight. just like, yeah, exactly. Like, boom. <laughs> um, it, everyone was so happy to see yeah. that. So that was uh, yeah. the fun one with the fight. I think the coolest I've ever felt was doing that fight scene. Oh, the fight yeah. scene. And then I looked at it. and I was like, you don't look very cool. You, you felt gr- no, so cool when you were doing that, and you don't look very cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, that was fun. So, yeah, all of that is to say thank you for doing that over the years. And everyone loves to see you show up and stuff. People in the chat have been consistently, I've just been looking, yeah. that they can't believe that was also you in the Ico video. Oh. Like, that yeah. they, going back that far, people were like, wait, no, wait, no, that can't be. I it's mean, like, yeah. two thousand. you said 2006? <laughs> it was 2006. So, yeah, it was so. like 19 probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's got to be stuff before that even. I, I think. think so. no, I, that's, that's the first thing, or the first... <laughs> In, La- in public, thing. Yeah. early, yeah. early yeah. version like two episode, the first episode of version two, which was two thousand and four, beginning of five. Okay, yeah. she is in that weird experiment. We go in and and she's like on the swings and stuff. Oh yeah, uh, mm-hmm. so that is that That's is yeah. and that, that not too long. And ago. I do think if I I could be wrong, if I thought that was when we went to the. That was the uh, disappeared gentleman day because we went to go get oh, you to go film that. Yeah. At the park, and then our teacher yelled at us. Oh, oh, oh! That makes sense. Yeah, I think that, that does make sense. I think that's okay. what we were doing. Yeah. That day. So yeah. yes, you were still in high school when we yeah. filmed that. Yeah. For sure. yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I do want to mention. I don't want to just steamroll past this because some people in the chat have brought it up. There, it was sure. a video we had done one year for IGN, making fun of uh, Microsoft at a really embarrassing press conference. Oh. Uh, Nicole did play Felicia Day oh, in yeah. it, that mm-hmm. and that good. was the infamous Chomlet tweet. Yeah, delicious. About, what was it? Cheetos in an omelet. Cheetos sprinkled on top of an omelet. Okay, so I have to ask: Have you since since that was two thousand nine ish, eight, maybe two thousand eight? Have you made a Chomlet since then? Maybe once or twice. You okay. have. I feel like that one is a okay. a discarded discarded meal for me. But yeah. Okay. I feel like they make a lot of Cheeto things now. Oh, so yeah. yeah, they Cheeto do. Pie. It wasn't you had crazy. It in like a burrito no, I've done it. <laughs> Do they get soggy? Not really. Because okay. whatever chemical they put on it keeps it <laughs> nice and crunchy. Yeah, keeps, yeah. It, keeps yeah. it tight. But I took a, I, I, on a whim. I'm going to get the, the, the Flamin' Hot Burrito. And they had carne asada, nacho cheese, and guacamole. And I took oh. a bite. And I was like, it sucks how good this is. Right? Like, I was disappointed in myself it's for kind, liking it you, so much. You kind of have that, uh, maybe, I, I had a similar experience yeah tell me if you i kind of felt like damn i am like a dumb american you know what i mean like (laughs) this is just full of like frito-lay junk food and Uh, stuff but shouldn't work but it's so fucking good where was that from uh taco shop yeah yeah i mean oh it's like at a taco shop not like a yeah oh no 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 no. this is at a taco shop with like actual carne asada wow it's a california burrito but instead of french fries it's flaming hot cheetos wow i see a couple there's like one in a nearby mall that has it that sounds Good. It's right. pretty good. <laughs> it is. It's good. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying I'm getting that after I'm this. I'm saying, yeah. but, Nicole, mm-hmm. if you ever do get it, just let us know yeah. what you think. Okay. I think it's like better it. than a chomlet. I will. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. better than chomlet. For uh, sure. Bur- it's gotta be. Chur- chur- I don't know what it would be called. Um, um, but that's a, that's a great sketch to mention. I always think of The Last of Us. 
Oh yeah, um, video yeah, yeah. as well. Uh, you played Ellie. The, the more because I think I've done, we've done two With of them. That's right. Yeah, yeah, there was two. Yeah, the guy talking about Rob Zombie. That's was, probably the most <laughs> recent one. Then I think yeah, that you've been in so. with us is the Last of yeah. Us. We did after the HBO show. Mm -hmm. and that, right. uh, yeah, it was featured on the news. I forgot about that. Yeah, we're on the, you're and on they the news. spoiled it, right? Like yeah, they, they, did. they showed the ending of the, the video, end. but that's okay. Hey, ah, could be on the news. Yeah, I'll that's take cool. It. I'll take it. Ever. But that was also fun because the crazy, the, the, that guy. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. There was a guy that showed up to tell us about how the river, what was it? The river was being Rob uh, drained. And then the, he just said Rob Zombie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, like, oats or something water and, crisis yeah. Yeah. yeah and how they're still in our water and but he uh, just stood there for so long he wouldn't leave because we had a camera that's the, that's yeah. what that yeah. trick is okay. the, yeah if, they, if you they, get the camera like, oh maybe they'll put me on whatever they're doing we didn't i mean we kind of did i mean that, <laughs> it, his, his face, message you know. got out yeah. there yeah, i guess so i guess you're right you gave us a vibe of kind of what he was wearing what we, his walking stick looked like we played that video for the first time <laughs> at i think it was pax east yeah a couple years ago yeah. so that got shown in a in a packed house in boston so you can't say yeah. he didn't get his word out there. <laughs> there you you go. Go. Yeah. So uh, yeah. anyway, well, uh, let's take a minute. We're going to take a minute here. I want to plug a couple of things. Oh, yeah. Then we can talk about maybe more recent stuff that's sure. been going on or whatever. But in the meantime, I want to say thank you to everybody supporting the show. I want to say if you like what we do, you like our shows, you like Mega64, you like all of the above. You got to go to shop.mega64.com. Mm. Pick up some stuff. We got all kinds of great not just apparel, but we got media. We have Mega 64 Blu-ray. Like I mentioned, Mega 64 in five minutes Blu-ray. Yeah. You'll see Nicole on that a lot uh, because of the Evangelion stuff that's on there, but also all the other sweeted videos we've done. But what I really want to tell you is, and this, I thought we would be now, done plugging this. Thing. We have become the, the Mega 64 boys who cried wolf a little yes. bit. So this is the last time we're crying wolf. This is for yes. real this time. We have extended every week. We get so much demand on our Mega 60 War Master Collection Blu-ray box set. We have to get these printed. You know, we want to ship them very okay. soon. Yeah. And uh, to get, we need to give them the, here's the orders and we're done. But people keep wanting more. Uh, we sold out at one point. We added as many as we could from took them out of like certain bundles that were still around. We took them out of that and some of our personal supply and all that. We have them. We keep adding more, but we got to take them down like tomorrow. So Legit if you didn't tomorrow. get that box set, it's coming down tomorrow. That's it. Um, this is the last time we're promoting it on here. So for the foreseeable future. <laughs> nah, I would do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying Dave, down the road, we have more. We'll do it, but we'll for this know. this run, that we can't do this anymore. That's right. So pick up Mega City War Master Collection. Nicole's in that too, actually. I just yeah, now realize it, but for sure. All Several of times. our all of our half hour series that uh, we did for years, our version four movie uh, skits across twenty years, uh, our 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 entire legacy or whatever you want to call it in one box. Uh, uh, well, I should say entire. There's still some. There's skits on other Blu-rays and stuff, but you know, it, it's got 70, nearly 70 hours of stuff. That's Brand a new lot commentary. of hours. And you will, as you know, doing the commentary, yeah, part, you yeah. will see all of us grow up. And it's very yeah. weird. This, like you yeah. see yeah. Nicole from high school to Ooh. now she's had a kid and she's yeah. still fun mm -hmm. with us. And you yeah. see, yeah. it is like it is a weird. I remember thing. from recording this latest round of commentary. Yeah. Uh it was all about God damn, look at like how much we've aged. Because, yeah. <laughs> Holy hell. But some of it is good and some of it's bad. Like, you know, some of it is like, oh, okay, cool. Well, I know I look like dumb in this. But then others, it's like, I'm rotting. So the, the, you <laughs> yeah. know, it kind of balances out. Yeah. Um but, but a whole anyway. new perspective. Yeah. So yeah, go pick that up. Also check out patreon.com slash mega64 where we do exclusive shows. Um, you'll find extra podcast. We, we do a little extra convo every week and throw that on the podcast if you if you want a little more podcast to go. That's on there every week. But also Mega 64 Movie Club, we just did Wonka. I made Wonka Rocco episode. watch Wonka, Sh even though he said on Twitter he wasn't going to see it. Yeah. I oh, said, you broke I got you, fucker. So now my new rule is if he ever says that on Twitter, I'm going to pick that for him. Movie Club yeah. and then make it be a liar. Um, <laughs> so perfect. So if you want to, if that sounds good to you, that's on Patreon. Wonka. Hey, honestly, I 
I think that's worth it to see what Rocco thinks of this fucking movie. <laughs> um, so that and uh, we also you guys did. I wasn't in this one, but uh, Derek, uh, you three, four of you, you guys uh, oh, did a Jackbox. Uh, what did yeah. we do? The new Jackbox game oh, that yeah. came out. Yeah, we did that. And we played that at the studio. We have a, a series called Friend Dimension where it's like just hang with us at the studio. Either someone's playing a game over there or we got one coming up where uh, Johnny builds an animatronic. That is coming mm, up next week. Dang. If you're a big animatronic nut, you're going to be watching Johnny just work his magic. He's like he's like the animatronic Wonka, basically. Wow. Um, so that's coming up. You know, whatever. Stuff around the studio. It's happening on our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mega64. Always a yeah. good friend to mention. So. Yeah. yeah. Always yeah. good stuff. Yeah, I did a record club with Jenny. She was on again. And I'm trying to get a special guest for next week as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Brian Wilson's Smile. So yes. I've never heard of this before. So I'm trying to get a guess for that as well. Okay. So we'll see. Yes. We'll see. But stay tuned for Patreon. Do you Thank and Jenny you. have a good time on the I love doing the, the podcast. Club. Honestly, I truly love doing the podcast with anyone. But yeah. like, I don't know, doing it with Jenny, I have like extra fun. It's yeah, like, it's, it's cool. awesome. Yeah, people are like, oh, it's a good chemistry. It's like, well, I'm glad to hear that because we, <laughs> we are married. So that is, good. <laughs> that is good news. There's just no chemistry here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's like, bad news. It's, it's not <laughs> like you're married. You're, you're arguing about the album. You know, you're bonding over. You're not going to have her on if she doesn't like the album. Well, this time I had her on without knowing what it was. Yeah, Nicole, I have, uh, you know, I have Rolling Stone's top 500 albums Ooh, okay. of all time. Mm -hmm. So I pick out a random album every week and okay. talk about it and listen to it and whatever. Okay. And so I have guest talk on it. You're always welcome. There's nice. an album you love. Okay. If you're a big a big fan of like, I don't know. Uh, Steely Dan. Linkin Park. In there. Yeah, Lincoln. <laughs> Lil Nas X. Yeah. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. I, if he's in there, yeah. be in there, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't what know. music Old would you road. say you listen to the most? Lil Nas X. Oh, legitimately. Serious, okay. Yeah. I saw that you're, are you going to a concert? It's I on HBO. Post? I'm watching on HBO. as soon oh. as I get home tonight. Oh, okay. oh it's tonight? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it I was yes, last that. night, but I fell asleep, so I'm going to watch oh. it. Super That's what happened to me oh. during the Royal Rumble. Yes, there you yeah. go. It's getting old, you know. It's you getting just, old. I'm tired. I can't stay up for the things I want anymore. <laughs> Gotta just DVR them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, so they subscribe to our Patreon. Thank you. Um. So we went to an event this week. Yes. I don't oh, know. Yeah. If this, I don't know if this kind of thing appeals to you, Nicole. So you mm -hmm. let us know if this sounds I, fun, honestly, fun or a nightmare. After too. doing this, I think Nicole would love it. Yes, I think Jenny so. would love it. I, yeah. I think okay. everyone would love this. Yeah. It, yeah, it was awesome. But we went to an event when we were on tour. We, uh, you know, we we were in a tour van and we had a DVD, pl you know, player or whatever. It was a PS4 to be specific, mm -hmm. featuring uh, game saves from someone who's named like B Baller, <laughs> yeah. B Baller sixty nine or yeah, something. Yeah. I don't remember. It's always fun but, to see what they play. Yeah, people, people. Every time we've done a tour, yeah, there's always a TV with a PS4, or some console up there, and they're always still signed in. I'm like, yeah. am I? Are we the only ones? Like when we're done with something, it's like, all right, sign out of everything, right? Like I don't want people accessing my data yeah. or like you know changing my but game saves. It's been consistently every, every time, time you go in, turn it on. And uh, all, yeah, this all this guy's stuff is on here. Okay, well, you know, uh, let's run. Doctor Butt Hugger left himself logged in here. Yeah, <laughs> let's run his credit card. I guess all the I'm buying games. FIFA. No, we didn't do that. But um, but uh, yeah. So we whatever we watch movies on there. Yeah. We stopped at a random ass movie store in Vancouver. In, in Vancouver, oh, they yeah. had like DVDs and VHS and just cult stuff, whatever. And we uh, we found a DVD for Found Footage Festival where it's just two guys that are like, yo, our full-time gig is we rummage through old VHS and find sketchy stuff and funny stuff and terrifying stuff and play it. And they tour it around and they do a whole production where they show it's stuff. It's like a live show. You can go watch them like this. What what did they find? This yeah. is yeah. more than 10 we went to. Wow. Yeah. Well, so we watched this on the road and we're like, dude, that was fun. Yeah, and we, we watched, found out they're, they're doing it live in LA. We, we watched volumes to, like three and four, I think. Something like that. Something. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it just so happened. It's like, holy shit, guys. This show's coming to LA. It's volume 10 and yeah. it's not that but expensive. It was funny because when we were at the store, Johnny was like going through the stuff. And he's like, hey, I found this, but it was like the most expensive. And it's like, ah, but he had, they're, they're all there. I'm like, ah, no, get one. Yeah, I guess. And the second it was there, I'm like, oh, we should have bought all of them. We should. I really that. like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. It was, especially for the long, like, yeah, the West Coast leg of the tour. It was the longest drives. It was yeah. like every day. It was like seven hours, nine hours, yeah. eight hours, and it, consistently. Yeah. So we were just running out of shit to watch. So yeah, yeah we those were. things that that the Found Footage Festival was a godsend. It was awesome. Totally good, and hosted by two really great personalities. Yeah. That we come to find out, like, oh, we've seen these guys in other stuff because 
Mm. They're friends with K Stross, who went on the news as a fake yes. yo-yo mm -hmm. pro uh, professional. Did you ever see that I when the did. guy, yeah, yeah pretend uh -huh. to be? I remember yeah. that. So These they, guys are friends with him, and they go on news shows, and they do a whole, you know, fake, yeah, uh, they, like muscle, you know, building. They brothers. do a thing called the uh, was it uh, chop and steal? Chop and yeah. steal, yeah, Head, like strong lifting. My, but like they go to the news, bullshit. but they get like <laughs> two gallons of milk and start going like this with it to show how strong they are. <laughs> yeah, they they contact the news and say we've got the, like two strong men. That are doing, uh, they're in town, like two of the strongest bodybuilders, and no one does any they don't research. Vet them at all. No, no. no. So they're just like, <laughs> that's yeah, why come they on do and it. Do it. And uh, they, these guys ended up getting actually sued yeah. by um, a lot of these local stations were owned by one big company, oh, okay. and they were like, yo, you, you're like terrorizing our network. So they there was a whole lawsuit. Uh, there, this is one of the things I picked up at their live show. They did a whole movie I about can't it. Wait to check. Someone that did out. a documentary on Chop and Steel, and you can get it. <laughs> it's on uh, like at, you know anywhere you could buy a digital movie. Uh, but they did a Blu-ray too, so I had to pick that up. They, what was so fun about the show? Not only were they showing a lot of hilarious stuff, things they found, but not only that, but then their merch table was like, oh. You guys are physical media nuts. You're yeah. in heaven. They We've were got very the, like us. Yeah, totally. It, it gave us, uh, it gave me vibes of like, this is Kevin yeah. set up <laughs> yeah. at the Booch Merc well, during our tour. Even like, the, size of the, the yeah. size of the venue, actually in the, the one of the, the shows Sorry. we watched. <laughs> no, that was funny. Yeah. He said, he said birth mooch or something. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, that was amazing. Anyway. Um, they, uh, they were performing in a venue that we performed at as well. So it's like, oh, we, we, we did a show here in North Carolina. So like, they definitely had the same aura yeah. as us. I yeah. had the same, same vibe. vibes. But but just I just loved the commitment to like, hey, we've got our new uh, volume we did, you know, volume 10 or whatever, or found footage festival. You could get it on DVD, Blu-ray, or VHS oh, with, we did that. with included popcorn. <laughs> um, because they showed one of the things that they showed in their finds, oh, all, yeah. the, all the bizarre VHS they find, they found one from like the late, Maybe it was the 80s. It's from, from Target, though. Target, it, was Target? it was a Target it, Target branded VHS, like Target popcorn classics. Oh. And they were movies that come with popcorn for movie night. And it was the oh. Nuremberg Trials. Oh, no. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> So they so they kind of parodied that and they gave up. I just love they did a VHS tape and so yeah. many VHSs they found uh, would have labels, property of Gary, you know, like stickers <laughs> yeah. like that. So they included that. They sold stickers they sold that said stickers. that. Yeah. yeah, they had a lot they, of cool Their merch, merch stuff was just so I, good. I, I love that they had the popcorn. Say, and oh. I and I feel very confident saying this. If you are watching this podcast and you enjoy our shit at all, you will love this. There's yes. no way totally. that you will not be all in on this bit. It is totally. so much fun. <laughs> Uh, and the show itself, like you will see some shit. Like, yeah. like hey, yeah. literally. If you, if hey, you, liter literally. Oh no! <laughs> if you hung out uh, over the MLK week and enjoyed what we did, you're gonna love the found footage, yeah. guys. Uh, there, one thing I ju I just wanted to show one thing that I really loved. I had no plan to get this, but they said, "All right, one of the items at our merch booth is, um, you know, we find all kinds of VHS and." Uh, there's a trash can outside an apartment building with a tape labeled bunion surgery. Oh. We didn't know what was on it. We just took it. Yep. Make copies of that. All right. We made <laughs> copies of it. We're sell we are not selling this online. We're selling it at the merch booth and it's got a certificate of authenticity that every copy was dipped in the same trash can. Oh. <laughs> so that's in there. I, I was like, that's funny they did that, but I have no, no desire to that. buy that. <laughs> then as I'm standing at the merch booth, one of the dudes from hosting the show was someone was like yo so what's really on that tape and he's like well it's like an educational surgery thing but um a lot of it's taped over with reruns of power rangers and vr troopers oh, i was like what? That how many copies do you have left <laughs> just this one give it give, give it to me so i had to get it as wow. soon as he said vr troopers was on this i was like you got me there was a kid there yeah uh, yeah that, yeah and there was a that lot was a of things much. where it's like oh yeah because there's some nudity yeah. Oh yeah, well, and but a lot of times, like, well, they found this tape, nude yoga, and it's just like yeah. a, a thing that you could buy, and it's just like this guy doing yoga with his dick out, oh, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> the history of lingerie, and it was like, wow, it was thirty <laughs> seconds of history. Here's what happened in World War One, and now here's some girls dancing in lingerie, right. like lingerie from that time. Uh, yeah, I guess, like, but then but it would go, that's, okay, that's a stretch. Here's what happened in World War Two, and then it would be a different girl in lingerie. It was wow, yeah, it was bad. It, it was. <laughs> Horrible, but, but what a I great didn't see show. the kid there. 
Yeah. Yeah, there were kids there. Good for them. I did not understand what yeah. was happening with that. But I uh, mean the naked body is just it's natural. Yeah, there was some definitely some unnatural stuff happening in that <laughs> in that show. But anyway, it was so much fun. And so I, yeah, I was glad we yeah. made it to that. That was like our little post tour treat. We 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 invited our, our tour manager. This was Jay sick. came with yeah. us. Yeah, he, that Go ahead, Rocco. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. That was it. No, no he came this, with us. We had a great time. Everyone from the studio went. Like, all six of us headed out there. Yeah. Anyone who, yeah, it was, yeah. It was like the tour met up again. And it was, it was weird because, like, you know, we're all together and we're at this venue. And then at the end of the night, Jay's like, oh, I'll get the van. Like, making a joke for the yeah, tour yeah. vans. But, but it, yeah. But I believed it for a I second. Had a I was like, in my stomach. I was like, okay. He was like, they're right. Oh, he was like, we're, they're wrapping up the merch. I'm going to go grab the van. And, and I was like, we have to pack up. <laughs> Wait, no, oh, this wait. isn't our show. <laughs> isn't. But it was staged. Yeah. So similar. So anyways, found footage festival. Yeah. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy it. Uh, check it out. Oh, and I got the a, last um, thing. Yeah. Oh, the the oh, most yeah. Sean thing ever. <laughs> the most Sean you, thing of the night. You got to explain the clip first. That well, they, showed. They, I, they said that they found some German porn <laughs> and they, they only put it in because of the title. And so... But I want to show you the first part of the porn. There's no nudity in this part. This is just how it starts. And it's just two guys on college campus playing Frisbee back and forth. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, a girl comes and takes the Frisbee and runs away. Then it hard cuts to the title, which is Frisbee fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it cuts to a yellow, just like that, yellow title screen with that font. Oh and God. as soon as it ended, they were like, yeah, so... We made Frisbees and they throw it out and they were like, we're, we're selling them in a merch booth, but we'll give one away. Throw it into the audience. And in my brain, I'm like, Sean, yeah. Sean catches literally everything. That's his <laughs> Heisman trophy. Oh, winner, Sean got Sean. It. it was, like, it was uh, one of, of those things where like the second he threw it, I'm like, well, that's mine. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was not even a question. It was just it out into you. the ether. I got I it. Just like, ah, it's yep. So anyways, uh, when we were going through the the merch line, uh, the guy was like, "Hey, you caught it. You want me to sign it?" I'm like, "Yes." I, you know, so he put, "Sean, you're one of the best uh, frisbee fuckers of all time." There so. you go. Wow. Anyway, that's gonna live on I our think set. That, I think that's the title of this week's podcast, right there. <laughs> Sean, frisbee. Fucker. Sean's new title. Um, I will say one of my favorite moments of the night. Um, it, obviously Derek's not here to speak on this, so I'll share this part because it was outside the show. Um. Right before the show, there was a burger place right next door. Kind of a little more swanky kind of burger place. They yeah. got a, they had a lot of retro, uh, like an old retro hamburger sign from like yeah, it was cool old LA building and or a, something. But you know, in a modern name. in a modern place. And uh, but they had pictures on the wall that they dressed up the burgers and they looked just like In and Out burgers. And it was cracking me up because Derek went up to get food and then came it walked back just ah, ah. it's like everything okay. He's like, I got so hungry. Cause I'm looking at this picture and my brain went, ah, double, double five ninety five. And Yeah. And then, and then uh, he's like, yeah. that was like an $18 burger, <laughs> yeah. but it seriously didn't, it looked like uh, animal style fries in an yeah. in and out burger. And he was like, my brain was just like, oh yeah. In and out. Yeah. Here's five bucks. No, after uh, everything, it's like eight, uh, nine, 1898. Oh, no. What? Oh. what? It I was, was cracking up fucking so bad. delicious. I was going to say, was it at least That's good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was okay. better. It did look like In N Out, which is not knocking it. It's no, a no, good no. looking burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did look good. But it was gourmet. It was oh, better. Yeah. It okay. was, it, it but was it was really just good. cracking me up. He's like, why did I think I was in In N Out? <laughs> and the name was <laughs> fucking killing me. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I'm so glad we ate there because I was looking up on the drive, like, where can we eat in the rock? I mean, that rock come up with yeah where what's in the nearby area what i don't know guys it what, do you, say, yeah. what do you think about burger lord <laughs> <laughs> when they told me that and i remember talking to you i remember playing uh dead rising sean in like 2006 yeah I keep going back to 2006 and, that's a year. and and there was uh fast food places in there and i remember saying to you if i could make my own place it would be burger lord <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that just sounds like fucking cool yeah. and and da 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 and uh, I think I've written that into a couple things, have, maybe. Yeah. And then, yeah, someone, I think Kevin was telling me, he's like, yeah, they said they're a burger lord. And I'm like, are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> what? So but. if you, you know, want to open one of those, you get away with $18 sandwiches. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. There you go. So, but anyway, everyone said it was really good, though. Yeah. Get alone and hit up burger <laughs> lord. That's <laughs> what we did this week. We had a 
outing, a Mega 64 yeah. outing to go see the Found Footage Festival. Yeah, I don't miss the poorly played stream for much. But I know. And they you convinced were, me. And that's the thing. Garrett was like, ah, it's a Wednesday. Can't do it. It's like, e even Jay's coming, Garrett. Yeah. Literally <laughs> everyone on the tour is coming. They you have sat to come. me down. They're like, look, you were the only one who sat out from the fucking <laughs> behemoth Christmas party. Now you're going to be the only one who sits out. Jay's coming, man. And I'm like, oh, Okay. <laughs> You well, I I didn't think you were gonna say Behemoth Christmas Party. I didn't know you didn't go to that. You didn't I, go to that. I yeah. I, night, I think bro. you should have gone to that. But the, no, what I thought you were gonna say was um the uh, Bedrock City uh, Flintstones theme park in Arizona. <laughs> we went to we went to the. Park there park. is a uh, long rotten. Um, I mean, looks like the world has ended and forgot this area. <laughs> it's like um, irradiated. Uh, Flintstones theme park in in the desert of Arizona. Okay. That looks like it has been rotting in the sun since 1972. Because it has been. Because it has. <laughs> uh, and we, you can still buy a ticket to go in, and there's just nothing happening in there. Weird. Uh, so what we did was we woke up. I saw the sunrise over the Grand Canyon. I saw that. That was an amazing picture. Oh, it was yeah, beautiful. That, that was, was yeah. Have you been to the Grand Canyon before? I've never been. I you really haven't? Oh, I know. It's shit. crazy. I've you yeah, like it's so time many... to make a trip. I know. Yeah. I've never been. And I'm not, listen, Sean's the nature nut. I'm always like. So is Nicole. I'm, all, I'm always like on the other end of the spectrum. Like, no, nah, the new you know, Yakuza game came out. You can <laughs> go do that. I'm going to be on my Steam Deck. I was like, fuck, Blown what, away. Well, what are we Nicole, even doing This is doing what here? I'm telling him is like, he was like impressed. Yeah. Obviously, it's very, yeah. it's the craziest thing. The ever. Grand Canyon. Yeah. yeah. But like, he's like, Yosemite, man. It's like, you got to, you, and like, he said, I've seen the picture. Like, the pictures aren't <laughs> what it yeah. is. I'm still, Yosemite, I'm still not sold. I'm oh my God. I'm still, <laughs> still, like, like, that's my favorite place. Like, yeah. you got to. What's yeah. so good? Waterfall. Yeah, I got waterfalls at California Adventure. Oh, my God. That's what he's literally, <laughs> Nicole. I've seen them. It's like, you water can't. Water goes up, water oh, goes down. Half dome. They Epcot's got, got a full dome. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, God. Ep I was just going to say, Epcot has a waterfall that go that shoot, that goes up. Ooh, yeah. Because oh, it's so that, twisted. They're so. Up. They're no. so twisted. That's where figment lives in the imagination. Pavilion. And no bears oh, to eat your yeah. ass. Well, yeah. country bears are better. Anyway, um, no, but anyway, no, I, I'm, I'm sure it would be great. Um, <laughs> whatever. I'm, <laughs> no, but the Grand Canyon was amazing. You really should go. Uh, but yeah, so we, yeah, but then that. after that, we were, we left that. And I was in like, I was euphoric, Nicole. Yeah. Because honestly, to get, amazing. not to be a dick, but to get these guys to do nature things, it's a struggle <laughs> for me. Because that's all I want to do. Yeah. And they want to go and look at the Nintendo store. I'm like, I don't want, I don't care. I want to see like. <laughs> I want to see something cool. I feel personally attacked. Yeah. Sorry. This, is, this got a little more. So when I was, we didn't go see Crater Lake and I want, have you been to Crater Lake? Uh -huh, yeah. ah. Crater Lake's amazing. Yeah. I oh, see, really? It's amazing. Yeah. See, I, don't trigger him. Jesus. Sorry, that, sorry. that was going to be no okay but, for me. Yeah, that was yeah, like. But happen. it is like a trek to get there. So is like, I, see, I get it. It would. Yeah. I was saying, I don't want to do some big, difficult, try to get to your hike to this thing. Oh. I can't be into, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Who was right? <laughs> Thank you. you Thank you. Okay. I spared. We spared everybody. Actually, no. None of us spared anybody. It, it was just closed. Yeah. It, I guess it snowed. In <laughs> oh, yeah. But um. Anyways, so Jay surprised me, and he's like, "Hey, I made it. So we're staying at the Grand Canyon one night. Like we're gonna this. You're gonna wake up and you're gonna be in the Grand Canyon. So it was a beautiful thing. That morning was great. Mm -hmm. We left the Grand Canyon. I'm euphoric, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, Rocco asleep wakes up and like, we have to stop. Yeah. <laughs> like the craziest thing ever. We have and, to go back. And he saw this ugly Fred Flintstone sign. A sign off. A side. giant Huge. rotting Fl Huge. Fred Flintstone. Uh, I did not. I knew this place is famous in theme park lore. Did not know it was there at all. Had no idea it was in Arizona. We're driving through the desert and I, it was like, stop the van. Ah! There. Fred Flintstone <laughs> drive towards that. And then it was like, oh, my God, I've wanted. This is utopia. I've wanted to go here. What is it called? Uh, Bedrock City. Bedrock. Do you look at Flintstones? The I don't think I've seen the Flintstones in like twenty. So you're on track with all of us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I never. I never really liked the Flintstones. To be real. I was a Jetsons girl. Yeah, I did. I did kind of watch Jetsons, but I like the Jetsons more than the Flintstones. Yeah, it was like, oh yeah, your feet are propelling. But when they saw the live action movie, I was excited about that. That. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was kind of into that with John Goodman. John Goodman. Yeah. So, anyways, the whole point of us bringing this whole thing up, Nicole, is that. We all paid them. Well, actually, Mega sixty four paid the money to go in and like go look at this place. Yeah, he, yeah, there Johnny's is. putting a picture oh, so you can go. see it. That's the sign he saw. Yeah, but yeah, so you. Garrett kept being like, "Nah, I'm good. I'm not going in." No, no, we'll, we'll get your ticket, Garrett. Nah, 
I I'll, didn't want to waste your money because I knew I'm looking at him like, what? yeah, I'm good. Yeah, he but he refused to do it. Also, I thought I was gonna go to the food court and like buy a meal that I could like sit because I was, Hungry. you know, I was eating like four or five meals a day trying to like maintain my weight on this tour because last time <laughs> yeah. I lost a bunch of weight. Oh no. Uh, but also I'm doing like a weird workout regimen. So I'm like, I'm going to lift my Pelican cases in the parking lot <laughs> and I'm going to eat some carbs in the food court. So let them go look at the, you know, the, the rotting paper mache buildings out there <laughs> full of spider webs. Yeah. And that was, yeah. Every, but then I did feel left out cause I'm like alone in the parking lot. For and like, then, we I, were gone for like half an hour. And the food, there were like no food options. You so don't say. All I got was a <laughs> coffee and I'm just like. Were there rye? No. What is this? I don't no. understand what this is. I just, just you, it. Was, you saw it. <laughs> it was That's an it. abandoned thing. The slide said, slide down your own risk. There was no rails on it. And oh. you went very fast. Oh, my God. And there were goats. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was a raptor park. They kept saying park. it was a goatosaurus because they painted a, a, a velociraptor thing around it. So the goat would put its head through. No. Oh, There's a picture yeah, of the slide. <clears throat> oh, gee. It, is that a child? Yeah, there's a part. There's no one there when we were oh, there. Okay. It was completely empty but us. There was a part where I think it was supposed to be like the beauty salon, but all it was was a broken case full of mannequin heads that were all, oh. all like bloody and stuff. <laughs> it it looks like truly, if I was there at night, show. it would be terrifying. Yeah, it was, wow. Yeah. How yeah. much did you? Pay? There it is. There's it like ten heads. bucks. Ten bucks. Okay. It, wow. Uh, yeah, but that was probably when they were new. Yeah, that what we saw was not that. That was that's pristine. Hey, I was gonna say I heard. Uh, speaking of, you did eat in the Bedrock Cafe or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw a tweet seriously just like a couple days ago that was like, I think I I may be remembering wrong, but it was like, if you want to have a, a fun time, look up negative reviews like on Yelp of that cafe. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Because it's like the shit people have been served there or something like that. <laughs> that apparently the negative reviews are really funny or something like I that. Think I, I think I kind of looked at the options and maybe decided, ah, I'd just go with the coffee. <laughs> yeah. I will say, like, though? oh, here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Half of the fun of sitting around that cafe while they were exploring Bedrock was checking out the, the staff oh. and just like <laughs> people watching a couple of the locals that were in the cafe yeah. as well. There were well, two dudes in like fatigues getting on their computer and talking about well, like, I, I think it's RV park as well. Okay. Part of it is oh. RV park. Oh. So like you can also get checked in with your RV wow. at this as well. So it was, you know. Two dudes were like flying drones in the parking lot, checking the footage. <laughs> oh. Then they got in their car, smoked a joint. And oh. <laughs> then the kid got out and peeled off on a moped. It was a wild time but while you guys is, were. I saw enough. You know, this it is was the free. best part about being on tour is like you will find yourself here. Yeah. And it's like, I, how did I? How did I get here? Yeah. <laughs> like, what am I doing yeah. here? We're on the side of the road in Arizona. In Arizona, just because Rocco saw this sign. Yeah, it was a good pit stop. So anyway, take, take the family there. Okay, go, go yeah, there. you gotta sure. check that out. On the Sounds way, it's great. on the way to the Grand Canyon. Oh, no, it is. Yeah. So that's the grand finale. Oh yeah, pit stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did want to. Um, let's see. So we did that. Oh no, wait. What were we talking about before that? Well, Garrett, not missing the Wednesday. Oh yeah, yeah the Wednesday thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just dedicated to my stream. That's okay. that. What Appreciate are you streaming? It. What game are you streaming now? Um, I mean, I'm not like on a set game because it's, okay. it's not. You're doing something different every week. Yeah, it's not summer or uh, after Halloween for Metal Gear or yeah. Resident Evil. So now it's just uh, kind of bouncing around between the PS3, 360 era. Hmm. Um, I got like, a lot of good feedback from playing uh, some PS3. We played Medal of Honor last oh. two weeks ago at this point. Um, Nicole, you you go to festivals. You have in the past. I yeah. Do you still do that? Um, I'm actually going this year for a friend's 40th birthday, but that's the first time. And what festival are you going to? Lightning in a bottle. What's that? Oh, yeah, it's weird. Know. I think it's, it's probably going to be first? weird. Is it like yeah. a Burning Man <laughs> thing or what is it? I'd say I think it's similar to Burning Man. Yeah, but it's up in like Bakersfield area. Oh, yeah. Bakersfield. And it's on like one of it, this lake that is like known for giving you like a horrible disease. <laughs> so, oh, nice. So okay. I, I have to go. It's one of my best friend's 40th birthday, but I'm a little nervous. A yeah. Little... Do you know any of the bands playing anymore? Um, The headliners. Skrillex. So Skrillex. Skrillex. Yeah. Labyrinth. Lay, I do like Lane 8 and I MIA. do like Taiko. Fat Boy Slim, too. that'd be cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. That person would be sick, actually. So it's, it's EDM. It's EDM fest. I guess so. But the problem is that these shows go until at 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh no. Yeah. What? Dude, that is... I don't know what not, I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, brought, I'm like packing heads. Oh, you're going to go to that, Nicole? Look at the pictures. Whoa. Oh, shit. Know. All right, this looks legit. 
You can't get fairy wings that glow in the dark, apparently. Oh my God. <laughs> Laser light. You can't fall asleep with that. I know. Do you have to camp there? So we went two years ago and we brought our daughter <laughs> because oh. it's like it's like a family friendly festival. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Was it? I don't know that I would do that again. Did you have like the big headphones? Yeah, she had big headphones, okay. but she just hated it. It was That's like 102. Yeah, it was like 102 degrees. Yeah. She wanted to go in the water so bad, but I was like, no. That's the lake that will there. give you, you give, something. Yeah, valley fever is what it's called. Valley oh. fever. Yeah. Okay. I don't want that. Anyway, Damn, yes. Wow. I do go to festivals. I okay, I was just curious. Because I know that Coachella is like, you know, you've gone to Coachella. Yeah, many times. Is that yeah. something that, you you know, I, I saw the lineup like, I, I'm No, out. I don't know who any, yeah. I, Dave, my husband has gone every year for 20 years. Oh, no so, kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So he's going. He has skipped one year the year that my daughter was born. Respect. Oh, and that okay. was it. And that was a tough one. I had to force him to not go. Oh, yeah. he's gone for twenty years. Twenty years before it was anything. You could just yeah. probably walk up to the yeah, gate and buy has, a ticket. Yeah, I think at the beginning, you yeah, you could just. Walk that was like us at Comic Con. You know, you yeah. just walk in. The yeah. thing that really gets me this year is like I actually I I I saw the lineup this year and I was like, this is the most acts I would see. Like really? this is the most sold on it I've ever been. And then yeah, now every day there's a new news story. Oh, this is the worst selling Coachella yeah. ever. Oh, no. And I'm like, is it, is this just me? Yeah, I want to see. Dude. I want to see. I want to. It's blur. It's not that blur is reunited. Yeah, that's I weird. No, no doubt is reunited. It's not yeah. that weird. That's yeah. not that weird. At I want to see. Uh, you know, the title of the creator, Adarashi Gako. That 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 maybe the public doesn't. You know, is no doubt about in a that. tour. Do you know? I don't know. Lennon. I would see them if they came Lennon around. Lennon is. All in to no doubt. Yeah. She listens to tragic. She has a tragic kingdom shirt. She oh, wears all the time. Yeah, she like awesome. fucking loves it. So I, I play drums never, to no, no doubt she songs. That's oh, so that's awesome. good. I was never that into that. You know, it's like I didn't hate them, but it was just like okay, that yeah, everyone's listening to this. I don't need to hear that song anymore. You know, whatever. And it's only in the last couple of years. I re I don't remember what came on, but something where I saw them play live. Maybe this is on YouTube. It was like, yeah, I need, I just need to play stuff. Okay. And it was like an older concert. And it was like, okay, they were talented. They were, yeah. they were, yeah. they were Don't good. speak. Yeah. And, oh, that and, video. Oh. They, Perfect song. They did oh. the, they, the show. Heart. I was like blown away. They were all really good. And then the top comment is what got me. The top comment was they played at my high school. I lived in Orange County. When they were first starting, they just played in like the quad or maybe it says college. Yeah. yeah. No, no. It was, and, it was like high, high school. Yeah. In Orange County. And Gwen asked me to put up flyers for a show. And not only were they practicing so hard leading up to the show, but she was the nicest person I'd ever. Huh. Like she was so grateful for yeah. us putting up posters, and whatever. And I always supported them after that. And I was like, damn, that's a really cool comment. And I think like he reached out not long ago, like recently. And yeah, and she still responded just like, thank you again for those posters. And it was like, damn, you fucking remember damn. that. Aww. After all this. So it was like, all right, respect, respect. Cool. So I'll see them. <laughs> you know what? No doubt you you just sold a ticket. You, finally, you sold finally one. you sold a ticket. <laughs> There's one. You've never done a festival, have you? Me? Rocco? Just the local one when they did that street scene street, thing. Street scene. Street was street. That was and I had a great time. Street. But wasn't that one day? That wasn't multiple days. No, it was, it was multiple days. days. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But that's You've never done really a fest. The, I, I can't imagine it. a multi-day thing. It's yeah. so much fun. But that's yeah. what's hard for me is like with Coachella. I, I, I want to see a lot of the things there, but I wish I could just then be like airdropped out. Mm -hmm. Like like that's street scene was great because you had the trolley right there. So yeah. it was like, I am done and I want to go home. Okay. And it, you, you were oh, on that in home in 10 minutes. Yeah. But uh, oh. I just, yeah, I don't know what I would do at Coachella. I, all the ancillary oh, yeah. stuff. I'm, yeah, my bachelor party, we went to Outside Lands in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And that was That's sick. A good one. Yeah, that was awesome. And then, like, yeah, we left and we went to our hotel. It wasn't yeah. like a camping situation. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. Oh, it was great. Yeah. And it's, yeah, a lot of times, too, you see a band and it's like, oh, no, it's down. We'll check it out. And then, like, end up like, become, like, yeah. huge later. That's like, what yeah. was so fun about it. I'm, I'm just like, uh, you know, AFI. What is this shit? You know, oh. and then it's like, oh, <laughs> hey, I'm, I, I probably won't listen to that again. But that was a lot of fun. Yeah. That was re they're really good. You know, you, you appreciate all these things, you know. Yeah. And when you think about the ticket price, <laughs> if you do like multiple bands, yeah. it definitely yeah. is worth it. Especially back in the day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, it was like, I think for my three day pass for Outside Lands is 150 bucks. Yeah. And I saw like, yeah, 10 bands I wanted to see yeah. that year. So yeah. it was awesome. It, and it makes sense, too, with them kind of putting all the niche bands into one festival. Like mm -hmm. you have... Uh, there was the emo fest that oh that was when Vegas. we were young when we were young yeah, yeah. Oh, and it yeah. was like uh, I couldn't fuck. do that if you were into those bands though you would want to see every yeah I, no, that's one in Vegas I, yeah, yeah was. I was into those yeah. bands and I was like I, I am no longer and I will not go back to yeah. the wind uh, that's a sad statement when we were young festival <laughs> I I can't <laughs> it's too negative uh, yeah. no. 
It's We're talking ridiculous. about like filming videos like with Nicole 20 years ago. Yeah. That's one thing. But I can't go to the Woodland Weaver <laughs> Young Festival. Yeah. Um, I have gotten some questions uh, on Twitter asking for a rib update. So I will give you a very oh. quick. Oh, yeah. We got to talk oh, about yeah. ribs. New, hey, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll handle the intro. You just sit right there. Um, everybody at home, we got a new <laughs> weekly segment coming to our podcast. Let's go to Sean for rib update. <laughs> Uh, right, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny's Johnny, gonna edit the spectacular intro nah. where it just it, it nah. goes. It's gonna go into his body. It's gonna show the break. Like it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Johnny, let me know how that goes. Shattering bones. Okay, um, so is it weird to go into medical stuff on a podcast? Probably. No, it's but people, uh, wanna, people gotta know. Do. So uh, rib update. I have since uh, my ribs are still broken. That is, but it is fractured or broken. What do you use? They're fractured, but the, I told the doctor, so they're fractured. Well, they're broken. Like, they're broken Ooh. ribs. But they're not yeah. just place broken. They're just in the same, like... They're just they're yeah. cracked. It's like... Eh, it's but they are snapped. They are, they are snapped, yeah. Yes. Okay. But they were concerned, being like, you, you shouldn't be able to cough. And then the chat last uh, week was like, the cough shouldn't break the ribs. But also, the chiropractors that broke your ribs. The doctor was also like, yeah, chiropractors shouldn't be able to break your ribs either. It's not like that. It's that so that's easy. That's not... We this is, what jokes. they were doing wasn't so fucking crazy. We so. were making a lot of jokes on streams this last week. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What's the check out against chiropractors, yeah. guys? Just calm down. What's, the, you know, what's the beef? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so, um, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah, the shrub was saying coughing can fracture your ribs. Yeah, sure. But that's not normal, especially like, like you're not, you're 39. You're not that old. Like, it's yeah, you're not an 80. So year. they did some blood work. It turns out I need vitamin D. Like, I'm like so deficient in that. It's crazy. And so I'm like, we're going to go in the sun more. Like, well, no, no, no. It's not that. Like, you go in the sun. It's so bad. It, yeah, because typically that is, I'll just say, vitamin D is usually equated to sunlight. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. yo, you never go out during the day. Yeah, you're low on vitamin D. Um, I, So I'm yeah. hearing, Sean bring up vitamin D. I'm like, Bro, I see you go out. You well, go no, out. yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm not like, I don't, I'm outside a fair amount. I would say it's not that. So yeah, I got some vitamin D pills, and I think, but it's so funny because I was looking like, what does a vitamin D deficiency mean? And so I got the list of symptoms. Like and you oh, were really deficient. This is everything that's wrong with me: like, <laughs> constant headaches or like you know sleepiness, <laughs> like all these things. Like oh, this is this is just. Who I am is if I take one pill, is that going to solve that? So I don't yeah, know. I'm taking maybe. it, I'm taking it four days. So we'll give you another update later to see. Does the vitamin Dude. D they get so I don't get headaches anymore? He's gonna, I don't know. He's going to turn into Jason so, Stratham once he finishes that bottle. Yep. <laughs> You're going to be the new beekeeper. Yeah, yeah. take care um, of the hive. So it was just that you were not absorbing that vitamin. It was yeah, the, was and so issue. all the doctors yeah take one pill a day. And that was it. One pill a day in the blood work. That's all you got. Was yeah, that's pretty deep. good. I'm pretty healthy besides that. And I've heard that all of us human beings are deficient in D. Just because, like, no I'll one's say. out in the sun for eight hours a day anymore. Well, like, also, you get skin cancer, so now what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this is this is something that everyone should take. And I, they're multivitamin. I was always sketchy on that for me because I'm, I'm like, my schedule is always weird. Like, even today, it's like, I don't. Your end up going outside till it's nighttime half the, half yeah. the time. Yeah. So I'm like, ooh, got to look into that. But then, yeah, look through it with my doctor. He's like, no, plenty of vitamin D. You're good. I'm just like, I'm good. I don't go out during the day. I'm good. How is that possible? Um, and then Sean I, is always telling me, oh, I went to the beach. We took it to the beach. We went out to this thing. We went out to this thing. And to hear this, just goes to show you, the human body's fucked up. Get checked out. <laughs> yeah. Get checked you know, out. Because yeah. none of that added up to me. Yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so. Anyway, you can't be so too careful. I'm going to go out more and take a pill every day. I can do that. That's easy. This is easy I stuff. really do think w w it would be funny if that was like, oh, that sold like everything going well, on. One of it was life. hair loss. I'm like, you are you telling me? Are you telling me that <laughs> this could have been prevented? This could have stopped if I just took a fucking vitamin D pill? No. I don't I don't know. I don't know. What if it comes know. back like Willy Wonka dude, style? My, dude, I, I'm going to have like the coolest hair. <laughs> my hair is going to, that would be, that would honestly, be sick. Okay. Fuck the headaches. <laughs> <laughs> if my hair goes back. I'm fucking stoked. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of amazing. So we're all rooting for you. Thanks. Hopefully thank that you. Yeah. The vitamin D supplement will do. So now the trick. I still can't sleep on my side, which is <laughs> fucking brutal. But uh, I go can, back. I can cough and not want to die. So okay. we do have that going for us. Yeah. So, anyways, that, thank you for the rub update. That was thank you for your update. concern. Thank you for your concern.
Um, Is there anything else you want to get over? Are, are yes. we good? Yeah, Nicole, no. any medical updates? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm feeling good. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Feeling what, good. What did the doctor say last time you kind of went around? <laughs> any good, good news and bad My news? My blood work, right. I, had, I had high uh, LDL cholesterol Well, I do. I, I was Same. Thinking, I was, yeah, that's me and you got that. I was thinking about going into this. And I think if I wouldn't have broken my ribs on camera, I probably wouldn't be so upfront about it. But I feel like they, they've been along for the journey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like... It is weird to like, oh, this is my blood levels. This is this is my blood work. This is what, you know, like, it's weird to say this stuff. I'm acknowledging that, but I try. Yeah, but it's vitamin D. Who cares? If it's more serious, I would yeah. keep it to myself. No, that's interesting. Yeah, there we go. Anyway. Well, I think also you're providing a service to people listening right now going, oh, shit. I'm probably deficient in vitamin D. Yeah. Or I'm and reaching. Now you can get a fucking vitamin on Amazon and be fine. I'm reaching the end of my 30s. Maybe I should have blood work looked at. Mm -hmm. Blood work is always good. You know, yeah. you're gonna find crazy shit. And well, I donate blood too. They could, they should have told me. No, Honestly, see, that's mm -hmm. where I wouldn't. That's dumb. You don't donate blood? No, because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like I'm just giving this out for free? What? You make more though. It's like, oh, yeah, here's a cookie. Do. Okay, How, where's the check? You flush. Like, you donate do blood? Um, I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get a cookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get okay. Swap me free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get into the swap me for free. That's yeah, true. That's true. They oh, do they? Oh, yeah, they do that, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, hey, real talk. Like, I've always been such a frequent uh, receiver of tattoos. I'm not eligible oh. for blood work. Oh, really? Is that part donation. of it? I never considered. Yeah. I never heard. Yeah, that. they'll ask you in the questionnaire, like, have you been tattooed within six months? And mm -hmm. like, uh, if so, you're you're not supposed to get blood. Oh, I did not. I did not know that. Wow. Just another factor, you know. Mm. All right. Fair enough. Not to say I'm like some high and mighty person. I've done it. I started doing it like a year ago. I'm so. also a donor, Sean. Do. You want to look at my fucking license? <laughs> I'm a good guy, okay? I'm one of the nice ones. You can have a kitty if you need it. Yeah, I'm generous. Uh. <laughs> I do want to uh, talk about, I mean, not blood related, but I guess maybe a little bit. But I do want to talk about, I don't, listen, I don't have any gamer shit to bring up this year, um, this week because... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was excited. Uh, Infinite Wealth, the new like a dragon game oh, coming out. Yeah, I still I'm still desperately trying to beat. I've been streaming the whole thing, but I'm trying to beat the man who erased his name before playing that because it leads right up to it. But I'm not done yet, so I'm like, that's okay. I'll I'll try to speed through it. But my like a dragon, uh, Infinite Wealth was on the way, and then I got a notification it was delivered, and I'm like, no, it, it wasn't. It was delivered somewhere else. Mm. Uh, but our friends at Sega. Shout out. Sega was in the chat when what? I streamed the man who erased his name the other night. The video game Sega, company? Sega literally was in the chat and said, yo, internet soldiers rise up. No, no way. Not joking. Shut up. Shut they up. They really did say that. Sega was in there and they gave us a bunch of codes for infinite wealth. So we got the hookup on infinite wealth. So, and thank God they did that because seriously, the disc didn't show. I still don't have it. Um, I don't know where it went. Um, so I got the code, the code, it's got all the extra stuff, DLC, Ooh, we got the all special that stuff, that's extras? all included. Oh, we got the hookup. We got the code with the extras. Oh, we got it all. Oh, shit. So thank you again, Sega. Thank you, Sega. Shout out on that, that whole team. You're doing great stuff. Um, game thank of the you. year. Now, I haven't played it yet, but just the way you've handled it so far. Yeah. Game, of the game of the year. So far, best experience. Free software. Game, yeah. game of the year. I haven't played it yet. Classic. <laughs> um, but thank anyway, you, Sonic so the Hedgehog. I have no, I have no gamer shit to report. The, the, I haven't. Right. Play, I haven't played it. I haven't been able to. Yeah. But I want to bring up some movie stuff real quick. Okay, it is Oscar season. It is Oscar season. So let's talk about the contenders a little bit. Let's I go through them. I, I saw uh, someone who was up for best actor in a film. Oh yeah. Yeah, we get to that later. But where were you headed? Well, I think we're talking about the same person. Oh, the classic voice actor who played Kamina in Gurren Lagann. Because Garrett and I went to. They did Gurren Lagann the mo the Gurren Lagann movie. All the lights in the sky are stars. We went and saw it in 4DX. So yes. They re-released it in theaters this, this last week, but in a few theaters, it got a 4DX showing. We're talking moving seats. Moisture, it was wild. What? Smoke, yeah. lighting in the theater. I mean, the whole All effect. the effects were on full display. And yeah. the reason I was sold is because Rocco told me the directors and the producers of this movie are actually like, programming the 40x they, for this yeah because it was like this is such an obscure where thing. do they do 40x yeah where'd there's you go? in there's, there's one Diego, theater there's only one theater there that is does one it, in mira mesa mira mesa is yeah one. is it the, the the one off the freeway like it's right a regal there? yeah that's it right yep yeah yeah, yeah. right off the freeway you see it's gigantic that's oh, the I didn't only realize, one i did not realize because like yeah how, how many people can this sit 
Uh, it's, it's, oh, it's a regular it's, theater, it's, but all the yeah. seats move. Yeah. yeah, it's a big theater. This it's kind of. It's kind of. I don't know. It's expensive. It's kind of Star Tours. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a twenty dollar ticket. That's, yeah. that's not I expensive. Thought, that's I thought, normal. Price. That seems like normal. Oh, wait, yeah. If you go yeah. to like the reclining yeah. things in like La Jolla, okay, okay, twenty bucks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. I wasn't. They did the. There's two Gurren movies, and they did the first one the previous week, and I'm just like, whatever. I, yeah, I have, I have those on Blu-ray, and then yeah, I heard that too. It was like, yeah, the directors and the the creators of this anime were hands on. They were the ones that did it. It wasn't um, just the theater doing it. They were the ones going, hey, we want forty. 40 X we'll, we'll work on that. We'll do that. So it's like, okay, got to go to that. Uh, if the, if this is like an extension of yeah. their creativity on it, they, I thought did it perfectly. Oh man. When characters are perfectly. like firing weapons, there's like a muzzle flash. And then there's like strobe light goes off at the perfect timing. <laughs> uh, Big one, explosions. And like the fog machine starts. Are you just laughing? Fog. I would just be oh, laughing. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, totally. But it's a ridiculous Dude, anime. It's Sean, not a serious thing. So. There's a poker in the back. So like yeah, you're sitting up. there. <laughs> oh this, God. this made me laugh every time because like people are getting like <laughs> kicked in the fucking head or like shot. And it's like, Boom! Ow. Boom! 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 Ow. 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 I think Sean That's would be the, the noise person I to demo that on. Oh, bro. shit, you rip. Oh, my God. You may kiss it. Can I kiss it? I'm I sorry. I to anybody mean, else. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I hit him hard, too. And then they had a jabber in the front, too, that was like, here, hold on. Here, hold on. Yeah. No, yeah. stop. All right. Leave me alone. Um, no, but anyway, uh, they saved it for the best shit. Um, we saw Avatar that way. Uh, Kevin and I went to Avatar The Way of Water in that, mm -hmm. and it was like going the whole time. And that's a three hour movie. So by hour Fuck two, that. it's like, I, I'm ready. I'm like ready to call it on this. But um, but then like we saw Titanic that way. And, oh, my, my chair. I, I went 40X with you my chair. You went 4D. Uh, then we saw Titanic, and it like it didn't do anything until the last part. You know, that was cool. Oh, when the boat. Ooh. Yeah. It was so like, you forgot. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah. yeah. So that was a lot cooler. Gurren saved it for just the key moments. Yeah, it was so a good mix. Perfectly good. And then um, the the back poker thing you mentioned, I actually thought that was the best effect in the whole thing is, yeah. Sean, you probably remember um, when Simone is fighting the Spiral King right <laughs> at the beginning. Right at the end, yeah, dude. I think about this uh, daily. Uh, yeah. And they're punching each other. The it's not really King. moving that much. Right. And the then you think Simone stalemate. is dead and then you think Sh Simone is done. And then what he does is he has his core drill like still in his hand yeah. and just... Boom! Shoves it in his chest. Oh. This is my drill. He Ugh. turns it, and they oh. use the jabber. Right when he did that, it was like, Ugh! it was like, oh, the, you, the whole theater felt like they got stabbed. It yeah, like, that sounds what? not good. <laughs> you it was hear awesome. It was also so it was sold out, which is yeah. I've never been to a 40x showing where everyone in there is seated. It was, and yeah. it was like audible when he got jabbed. You know, oh, everyone everyone was, oh. was like, <laughs> yeah, every, and, or laughing because it was like it, it was an intense. But, flight where it was yeah. spinning around i mean everything's a but spiral they used every i was just gonna say they used every effect separately but then i'm you know anybody who's seen this anime it's the most over the top anime ever oh yeah and by the end they have a a robot that is as big as a galaxy that's that rises out of that's, the that's, space gets sean you're a space guy space <laughs> gets so dense they, they go fold they space go time. so far out in space it starts becoming like an ocean like water because the space is getting so dense that it's singing. almost like, are we in water? This doesn't sound like an anime. Oh, and it is. This does not sound <laughs> when, like that. So when, at the end, when Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagon rises out of the water, they were running smoke, shaking, like, oh, it's rising Mist. out. And then they were fucking... <laughs> like everyone was getting wet, it, uh, the, uh, the strobes are flashing and they're shaking it. It was like this rules! Oh my god, this fucking rocks! Yeah, it now, was so cool. It was what awesome. happens if you have to go to the bathroom? What well, do you do? It, it's, Pop out. We saw people show up late and they were like trying to time it where they were gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ju jump in their seat. Your seat goes yeah. Whether you're in it or not. Yeah. Yeah. So they were like timing it and they were like, oh my god, there's seatbelts. <gasps> No. no. Oh, you. Oh, I'm it's, sorry. It's not so bad that it would. Oh God, you gotta buckle up. Like they, it's fine. It just seems like it's uh makes a watching movie harder. I don't know. Like just shove a water in her face and stab you in the back. You know, if it's doing that in a drama, so be it. But this anime is so like in insane action. Yeah. That it's just it. it was I guess yeah. Heads. If they did it for Killers of the Flower Moon, maybe it hit different. Yeah. But yeah. like <laughs> even think to Avatar: Way of Water. 
what are you missing? You know what I mean? It's like they're oh, the, these whalers are, are a whale yeah. is fighting these dudes on a boat. You're yeah. just feeling it, you know. It's All right, not, yeah, you're not yeah, missing yeah. anything. Uh, I just feel like I'd be laughing the entire time. Oh yeah, oh for sure, okay. I, I was, but All right. that made it fun. Fair enough. Um, but anyway, so that was really cool and uh, a great experience. If they ever bring that back, somehow I recommend people if you are if you're into that anime or maybe you're not, you know. Maybe catch up and see that when it comes to theaters. That was really, really awesome. <laughs> SF Rito said, because of the flower moon, every time they give her insulin, you get the stab in the back. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. Uh, but the last movie thing I wanted to say real quick, I think this is probably what you're talking about with the Oscar stuff. Yeah. Um, a movie I've been looking forward to for years out of nowhere came out this Friday and I want to give a plug. Years. A shout this out. is a big deal. And you've been following this for years. <clears throat> yes. And I'm going to give my on my honest, no spin zone review. <clears throat> we, if you've been watching our podcast for a long time, you know, there is something we brought up again. We're going, we're, we're going, we're tracking history on this podcast. <laughs> we're going years way back. back. There is a video we brought up a million years ago. It was a music video by a man named Chris Dane Owens called Shine On Me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was one of my favorite. Do we ever show this I to you? I think I remember oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel like I remember It was a music that. video where this guy just wanted to make a fantasy music video. Mm -hmm. And it is so over the top where it's like, I think any. I think any living thing that's ever existed was in this music video yeah. Yeah. where it's just a, dra a, dra a CGI a dragon, three witches. Swords. He's jumping out of a flame. Uh, a, a boat explodes. A crocodile. A crocodile. Uh, another dragon. I mean, it was just, I've never seen anything work like of art. this. And we, we did a video that was kind of a parody of the music video. We definitely am. But it was like, this guy, we found out more about him, was so passionate about, I want to tell a fantasy story with my stuff. You know, I want to, you know, and then he did another music video later called Lightspeed that was kind of in the same vein. It's like a follow-up. And then it was like, oh, cool. Is he going to do another video like that? No, I'm doing a movie. <gasps> what? That was years and years ago. I mean, that, that first music video was 2009. Years have passed. And a couple years ago, we started to hear about, I'm, I made a movie, Empire Queen. <gasps> it's going to, it's taken this whole thing Holy to the next shit. level. I'm doing a movie. It's going to, just wait. Okay, it's coming. And then out of nowhere this week, all right, it's up. It's, Amazon Prime video. It's you up. You can rent it's it. Up, it's baby. out. And I watched it. You did? Oh, oh. I stayed up that night. I'm like, this, I was looking forward to this more than any other movie coming Hell, in actual theater. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, all right, let's watch it. Now, here, I'm going to be real now. I'm going to be very real on this. Because Christy Owens has watched our podcast before. He has seen it True. before. Oh. He's he a super nice he, guy. Christmas cards. Could, Christmas cards. No. He gave us a little guitars yeah. on my desk. Gifts. A little like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, gave us, he sent us miniature Gretsch guitars once. I still yeah. have wow. mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Oh, there's even the, the, uh, no, the card No, that's hanging him. up in my office. This is yeah. a, a picture of CDO right there. Yep. He is, uh, you know, we've been in uh, correspondence over the years. Yep. Now, I'm going to be honest. He did this movie totally independently. You know, no studios meddling with his uh, stuff. Did a totally independent thing just because he wanted to. Yeah. He doesn't have the budget, I, at least I don't think, of Lord of the Rings or anything like that. But he wanted to tell a story on that scale. Sure. So I'm hearing that. And then the movie dropped and it came out on Friday. And I'm seeing, oh, this is two and a half hours. <laughs> wow. It's a now, full link. Whoa. I'm going to be real. The, we've had friends make independent movies. And then I've heard similar things. Oh, this is over two hours. Okay. And I'm going to be honest. A lot of times it's, oh man, two people are talking on this at this table for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I've oh, been there. I got, okay. <laughs> okay. Do I tell them they could have turned this down? Okay. Uh, it, you know what I, you know what I mean? We've I've, watched I, I've seen, seen that. some things I've here. Seen some things that like are that, friends yeah. of me that are just like, oh man, what, is this still going? Okay. And so I hear that runtime on this and I'm going, well, good luck to him. <laughs> this is going to, how are you sustaining? Okay. All right. I don't know how he did it. This movie never stops moving. Oh, it, fuck yeah. I'm watching the whole movie fuck and yes. it's like, oh no, he told, like there's definitely um, tricks done to like, okay, he's not really at this thing. Oh well, yeah, that's a, that's a you know, filmmaking th thing. There's still making <laughs> tricks in it, but it kept my attention the whole time. I'm like, this guy never once had just two people fucking talking for 40 minutes because or or let me tell you about the lore for having like there's lore in it, but but they would keep it moving. Oh, he tells me this. Well, 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 I better go here and find this out. Okay. Oh, but this person's trying to get there first. Oh, and this person. Oh, and so he did such a great job with that. 
But this is the thing that blew me away the most about this movie. And I don't know if anyone else will care about this, but yeah. I was like, oh, my, my brother was, was there at the time. And he came in the room. He's like, is that Chris Dane Owens? Did his movie come out? Because uh, he knew about he it. Knew. Well. Like, yeah. yeah. And he saw a part and he was blown away by this too. All of the things that are in those music videos yeah. are contextualized Shut by this movie. The you, would think there's the things, the you, would, you would think there's things that are just like, oh, he put this image in the movie because it looked cool. Or yeah, this the thing alligator. Or but it's like, no, we have to get the four relics to unlock. There's a special wand that can only be uh, unlocked from its where it's locked away yeah. at a certain time on a certain day by four relics you have to collect. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the queen wants it first, though. He, she's got, and then she's like, "All right, I'm gonna send him, bring him in." And the fucking dude with the metal face. Yo! I, will, I, will, I will find. I will oh, get the wand. He's real. Day. I will, and it's like, dude, he's the he's like the Darth Vader of this story, and and then like something else will happen, and it'd be like, uh oh, they're gonna attack the ship. Everyone jump, and the ship blows up, and it's like that That's shot, shot, the shot. Ship is in the first music video. Yes, all of these things, these little things, and and, and then some of it is flashback too, where he actually uses footage from that music video, where he'll be like, he looks oh, younger. Oh, this dragon, long ago, I barely escaped his wrath and it, and it goes to a flashback and it's a younger Chris Day Owens from that 2009 video where he's jumping away from an explosion yeah. like that. And it's like, That's Oh so my sick. God, he contextualized every piece of it. So this video that was on my YouTube favorites, how many years, how many years ago was that? 15 years ago. First song I ever bought on iTunes. Yeah. But <laughs> all these things that were in a YouTube favorite for 15 years ago, I'm now watching a movie where it's all unraveled. Wow. I was in heaven. And dude. does he and, do the music as well? Uh, he had a professional dude like score the movie. Okay. But his own, like he has he's, his own album and like over the credits, I think one of his songs. He's got uh, one of his songs in the credits. You know, Hell yeah. But, but like, you know, there's even a shot in that first music video where he, there's an explosion. And he goes like that. He yes. just kind of like yes, goes yes, like yes, that yes, yes. explosion. And he's like, yeah, no, I, uh, I stood atop this mountain and went through this thing where if I survived this, I would bond to this. Uh, sword forever it's like he, he it, it's all like in there like Damn. wow i couldn't believe i, I never thought that a, a, a video that i favorited on youtube that many years ago one day in would 2024 get, the, would get this <laughs> immense payoff this has the payoff so anyway uh yeah it's an indie movie is is there cheesy and corny stuff in it yeah you know there's, there's stuff that was making me laugh you know but they don't shy from that they're they they played it comedic in it too. Like, okay, this I is funny can't wait. what's happening. I can't so wait I had to watch such it. a good time watching it. Um, that is, um, I'm so glad that, first off, that came out and that you Oh, and it's on Amazon. It. That's it's like Amazon, so easy yeah. to get. Hey, now. so, you know, I'd say everyone, check this out. Uh, I always Empire love, Queen on Amazon. Empire Queen. I do it. love stuff like this because we're just a couple people making some stuff. Yeah. I love it when other people are doing that as totally. well. So I'm always happy to support CEO, yes. the uh, found footage fest, <clears throat> found footage festival. Same thing. You know. It's like, wow, look at this group out there doing their thing. That one, just like us, uh, the parody video we did of that. When I got to be Chris Dade Owens, it was an honor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. That was a situation, Nicole, where I had Jenny come and there was a makeout scene, and I we were not dating then, oh. and I did not ah, tell ah, her. Ah, I didn't realize ah, how wait, you were dating then. No. Oh well, that's ah, sleazy. Ah, I know. Ah, yeah. I, she was doing us a favor, and then. Uh, that's a. Gross. I thought I said I said there's gonna be a kiss. I did tell her there's gonna be a kiss. I didn't know tongue was involved. Oh, that's no. a gross makeout. Too. It was a gross makeout. So <laughs> it was like extra sloppy. I yeah. Well, I didn't realize how gross we would make that. Anyways, that's that's not the point of this. That's not the point of this. I was surprised when I watched it back how gross it was. <laughs> we definitely went for it, and she yeah. was a good sport. A lot of shots out. Yeah, that thing. that and shot. She still married me. Thank God. Yeah. That shot in the video, you guys doing that. It's like yeah, gross makeout scene, and then. <laughs> Uh, then it cuts to me and oh, I'm yeah. like watching them. You like what you see. And I've been seeing a screenshot of that all week. Like, hey guys, em this Empire Queen movie's out. Check it out. And they just use our screenshot. That's fucking great. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I was having fun. I really got, I ha really saw the runtime and was like, oh no. Yeah. Oh, well, how can that, how, okay, we'll see. Good luck to you on this. And I had a great time the oh, whole time. Awesome. So uh, Empire Queen, check that out. Amazon. Um, yeah. I'm so happy it's out. I hope he does like a 
hey, physical media. Oh, yeah. I want the Empire Queen Deluxe 4K Blu-ray. If it ever comes out on Prime, we'll have like a watch party and we'll have like everyone yeah, yeah. Like watch it with right us. Right now it's up for rent or buy, but if they ever put it oh. on the actual like Prime service, we could yeah. do it like a watch party. That, that would, would be, be cool. cool. Monday. Maybe Although Monday. no one knows what's going on with that because uh, Prime is adding ads soon. What? To Prime Video, you know, mm. like the included thing. Yeah. They're just at the end of January or now, I guess they're adding ads unless you pay another thing. Uh, uh, I already paid. Well, OK, I everyone's OK. I hear you're upset. Uh, I don't want to be on the side of Amazon because obviously that company doesn't need more money. Yeah, you no, Bezos there's lover. There's no good angle to this. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Bury yourself. Well, I was I had Amazon Prime before they had things to watch on it. And it was Same. like that. That's kind of it was I got it for the shipping. I had yeah. it for the shipping. Yeah. The video really, content is is a yeah, bonus for me. I really kind of almost never watch the the streaming service. So. No, and so, like but, but every now there's a movie on there. Like, oh, cool, movies on there. I'll watch sometimes, it. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's like, dude, they got the new kids in the hall reboot and they got all the old episodes. Now I will also say that, you know, they Amazon does own Twitch. And because of that, we can use our our Twitch yeah. Amazon subprime. Like, yes, you know, I like that. You can sub to us through Amazon for free. Yeah. That's no. very cool. I'm not saying I'm against it. I'm just saying I don't really watch the stuff anyways. So them adding ads is fine because I I use it for the shipping and the Twitch subs. And so the footage, you know, I don't care. I don't care. Sorry. Okay. Glad you don't, Sorry, care. I don't care. I hate it. <laughs> it I think it even sucks and I'll you. never watch yeah. it. Okay. Well, give me an inch. They'll take a mile. Both strong. sides of the scale here. I got it for the shipping. They gave me a free movie on top of it. Yeah. I'm not mad. Before I you thought, know it. I did. I did. I, I never really watched Prime Video that much. Like the, just the actual streaming service that much. But the boys was pretty good. I watched oh, that. Yeah, that was, that was good. pretty good. But I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't sit through ads. And and then mm. and then I don't care enough about the service to pay the extra thing. So I'm just like I'm back to not really using. You it. know, I will Basic. say, uh, Nicole, do you have any streaming services? Do you do? Do you do a streaming? Uh, I think I have a couple. I have Hulu. That's Hulu's like the good. only thing I, like I have. Uh, I I think Hulu is the one I'm thinking of where they will show you three ads before the movie, and then the movie just plays out the ads. I don't care about that. That to me is a I'll couple go, of them. Do I'll that. get a drink and a popcorn, yeah. and I'm good to watch a movie, and it's fine. Like I that, but interrupting the movie, that's where I draw the line. I'm not. Yeah, a man. couple yeah. of them do have that method. Yeah, I get just driven crazy by like mid rolls, pre roll, you know, that kind of stuff. That yeah, I, I have to, don't interrupt my movie. Anything I do, I I have to. Um, sometimes I'm not logged into my YouTube Premium thing, yeah. and I'll have to play a video, and now it's like it's like assault. It's like it really <laughs> is. What what. Uh, Jamba has an app. What? Why am I watching this? Every What's thirty happening? seconds, it's another ad. It's like whoa. The, the worst for me, it's not even just seeing ads, but when they would repeat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's yeah. where it would be horrible. And what the breaking point for me was, uh, there was one where it was like some kind of health drink, and they kept having a woman holding it, going, doo, 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 and that repeated fifty times. I, like, I, I cannot endure this. I can't go on. I pay for this service. Why are you? Yeah. Do we now? Do we have any goodies? Ah, <laughs> Nicole, we, we've gone long people, tonight. People too. send, I know, people send us things in the PO box. We open it oh. live, and it's like Christmas every week. Oh. It's lovely. Not this week, though. Not this week. Uh, is there anything you want to cover, Rocco? Or are we good for the show? No, I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I want to yeah. say oh, yeah. uh, truly, Nicole, thank you for being on this week. Yeah. It was nice having you on, and I mean. We've said thank you every time we film with you, but yeah. truly that yeah. filming with us has been Anytime. you being around the last 20 years and filming <laughs> with us all the time. Like, yeah, our videos wouldn't be as good without you in them. So thank, thank you, you so much. much. You have always been there. You've all you we always look forward to when you are coming down here for a video or anything. And we've known you so long and you have always been such a like bright spot in oh, our world. So thank you so much for for, you know, being a friend. all all these years and just, yeah. Can't thank you enough. Of course. Not to get too mushy, but yeah. we just are. Well, it's just like, don't stop calling. Cause I feel like every time you're like, oh, I don't want to bother okay. you. Don't All do right. that. Right. I want to come. That. Okay. 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 We will fun. call you. Regret that. If I didn't want to come, <laughs> I'd say no. Okay. Cause we have this video where you're going to be in a trilogy costume in a dog crate <laughs> yeah. at a middle school this time. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, you know, they did yeah. make new Evangelion movies. Yeah. I'm just there we say, go. I don't know All if you right. saw those, but perfect. You know. There did not go well for whole Oscar. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, anyway. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we love you. Thank you. We'll for see you next week. Sticking around. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next week. And uh, I don't know if we will. Well, we're not gonna see you next week. Well, I'm getting the Vision Pro no and podcast, so I don't. I'm gonna be MIA. You're not so seeing anything. You guys could do it. 
You're going to be, be seeing it. I'm not going I'm not going to be in this realm anymore. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's my, my your problem. I'm going to have to call Nicole again real quick. <laughs> we need yeah. you back. We're always the vision pro. A weekly uh, yeah. Right, we need a new podcast host. All right. Goodbye everyone. We'll see you later. Fade us out.